Um, <laughs> hi everyone, and welcome back to the Not So Very Challenge. Uh, today is a very important day. Actually, technically it was yesterday, but we're saying it's today. It's Pulp's birthday. It's the anniversary of the day that we first got Pulp. Huge day. I actually find that kind of hard to wrap my head around that it's been a whole year since, you know. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. We're gonna play some Not So Berry. We're gonna celebrate Pulp, and it's just gonna be a good time. So, welcome in. <laughs> I do have, uh, the game open. I was, I was kind of staring at her. She gets obsessed with the fire, is the problem. Oh, no. It's been made worse. Oh my god. How does it look like that? That's the thing. Anyway, <laughs> we'll deal with this. Uh, but Dev and, and No Life and Kate, uh, Simile and also Sassafras and Rogue and Short and Emily and Femme and Sharky and Father, thank you for the subs. I'm pretty sure also that Christine has just sent me links to the clips um, of when we first got pulp. So I'll be curious to watch those together in a minute. We'll, we'll let people have a chance to come in and then we'll do that, but. <laughs> um, I'm excited to celebrate pulp. <laughs> Kate, Lefty, Kellen, Meg, Naomi, thank you for the subs. It's been a year. Isn't that upsetting? Yeah. Technically, pulp's birthday was yesterday, um, but I obviously didn't stream in the afternoon yesterday, we were playing House Slipper and not The Sims and stuff, so. We're saying it's today. <laughs> it's been a year today, okay? <laughs> we're, uh, we're adjusting Pulp's birthday. Also, I just looked over at my own Discord server and I saw Dan was live. Dan's stream title says, I am Dan. What, what kind of stream title is that? What are you supposed to do with that information? That's like, so unhelpful, okay. Hi, Dan. Nice to meet you. Like, <laughs> that's true, I guess. <laughs> well, he is Dan, but... <laughs> what kind of a title is that? Anyway, sorry, I'll stop making fun of him. It's not nice of me to do. <laughs> uh, Kelly and Eden and Sadie and Erica. Uh, also, Lauren and Miss Snuggles and Nikachu and, and uh, Kirby and Captain and Lily. Dusty, Rosie. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> Lily with a 24 months, two year resub on Pulp's birthday. Big day. Rosie, Felite, and Claudia, and Slightly, and Jess, and Ruby, and Nora, and, and Dave, and Charlie, thank you so much. I'm sorry if I missed anything. I don't think I did. I think I'm caught up, but I might have, I might have made an oopsie in there. I don't know. <laughs> Leah, thank you for the 60 months, too. Um, should you get growing together or high school years? Oh. Um, super different vibes of those two packs. I think growing together is way better than high school years, but... It really depends what your preference is. I think that the world, Copperdale from high school years, I think is better than San Sequoia. Um, but I don't know. I did the builds in San Sequoia, three of them. So it, I, I, I should, it has a special place in my heart. You could have a little Simsy starter home if you got growing together. <laughs> High School Years has some really good cast and build by stuff. I love Growing Together though. I think Growing Together is maybe a little bit more versatile. Um, and gameplay wise, by far more versatile. High School isn't all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> okay, let me explain to you what is going on. So if perhaps you are just getting here to my stream and you're thinking, whoa, what's that? Um, this is Pulp. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is our beloved immortal dog. Basically, a year ago yesterday, we adopted this creepy little dog in my Not So Berry Challenge, and we liked it so much um, that we've never let it die. I keep aging down with the aging down treats and stuff. Pulp's gonna live forever, um, and it's become sort of like a, I don't know, a staple, a guiding light here in our community. <laughs> Um, Pulp was from the orange generation. I'll show you on the family tree just how shocking that is. Um, but Pulp was around when Blaze was around. So we've played quite a bit of time and Pulp is still here because now we're on the green almost blue gen. She's gonna outlive all of us, Pulp is. Um, 
So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, <laughs> I thought that we could celebrate today by playing some Not So Berry. Just regular Not So Berry. Um, but let me walk you through who's in the house as well. This is Moss. This is our legacy heir. Um, they have a wife named Elphaba. She's a green spellcaster. And they have two babies named Denim and Jort. You might be thinking, well, what's that mean? Jean shorts. Jorts. Um, so they're the blue gen. <laughs> Uh, and, and Tofu is also one of our cats, and we have Broccoli as well. So we've got sort of a large collection of Sims here in the household. Um, it's kind of overwhelming, the number of Sims. Is that like an eco-inspector? I don't want to deal with that. I also have a large amount of graves in my front yard. Um, and I think that today we're probably going to have another baby. I, I can see myself having my Sim get pregnant. I want to wait until the, the infants are toddlers, though, before we do that, which is like now, pretty much. They have zero days to lay age up. I just, I need to space it out a little bit more for my own sanity. Like, there's only so much I can handle. You know? Wait, they're blue? Yeah, well, their mom is green, so um, it makes sense when you think about it like that. <laughs> It makes sense when you put it like that. <laughs> um, Andy and Myla and Leela and Pixie, thank you for the subs. Uh, Janet, Sunflower, Cassie, Monday and Creep and Dragon and Bookworm and Mimi and uh, Exotic and V Sailor and Con and Twitch and Lindsay and Nina and May and Vanilla and Fantasy and Laser and Soy and MK with the subs. We got Zani with the five gifted subs, Jillian and Leah and Miss Hatter and everybody. Thank you so much. Hopefully I'm caught up. <laughs> Cassie, Cilantro, Evie, um, also Delic and, and, and Little, thank you so much. Um, who did the Y command? What? What's wrong with the Y command? Um, I think, all right, we should be good to go though. Anika, thank you for the gifted subs. Um, let's watch the clips. Let's go back and, and look at clips. Um, the emote is wrong. Oh, I did the Y command. I put an emote that's not real. Anyway, um, <laughs> I believe that this is the first moment that we were looking at pulp. So let's watch this first, yes? This is anything but hideous, pure perfection is the clip title. My dog? This is anything but hideous? <laughs> This is the most beautiful creature alive, okay? Look at it. See? <sighs> I love you, Pulp. This is iconic. I don't want to listen to myself talk, though. I just want to see what happens with Pulp. Let me see the other clip, too. That was the first one. What's this one? I wonder if we could find- oh, no. What are you doing? <gasps> I'm telling you, there's never been a greater dog than this. <laughs> How honestly, the times that we had when Pulp was first adopted, it was so special, you know? Like the joy that this creature brought me was unmatched. <laughs> Like, we would just pause the game and see that thing somewhere, and it would just make my day. It would just make my day. So, I'm really glad that we could be here today, tonight, to celebrate. <laughs> we did not know what we were getting into. At this point, we had no idea the dog was going to be immortal. It's kind of amazing. Okay, anyway, that's my life update for you. What's happening here? Okay, welcome to... The house. Will Pulp have puppies? Oh, uh, we've had, we called them Pulpies, and we, we have indeed had Pulpies twice. I, I don't really have any desire to have extra, uh, animals in my house at this current moment in time. Um, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by just how many Sims I have in my household. Why did you leave the babies out, like, on the floor? Let's go put them in the cribs. Um, but yeah, I can't have any more more dogs right now. I already have seven sims. It's too much. It's too much. So, it's like seven minutes into the original VOD. Her original name was Brandy. Oh my god, wait, do you- What's the video called on More Simsy when I got Pulp? Or if- Do you have it open? Because I'll- I will search it up and we can watch it. 
Is there video proof of the pulpies? Um, it, I mean, we did it all on stream. I don't know if anybody has a clip right now. Um, is pulp on the gallery? Oh. I don't know if we have um, pulp on the gallery recently. I can put pulp on the gallery now. Pulp is on the gallery though. Wow, the dog's original name was Brandy. I'm pretty sure if you go on my gallery and you look at um, like households of just one sim, you'll probably find pulp pretty easily. Yeah, it's called best dog ever. March 9th, 2023 is when I uploaded it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Pulp is on the gallery. Glarney. The 1500 Ooh. favorites is hilarious. Why are there almost as many favorites as there are downloads? That's not normal. <gasps> this is a mean video. It's called I have the ugliest Sims dog of all time. Why did I call it that? <laughs> Kayla! Dog. Okay, let's watch us getting a dog. And then we can... If there's nothing that seems orange enough, we can, we can make one. Oh my god, I almost made a dog. Could you imagine how bad that would have been? That seems reasonable to me. Hire us. Okay, let's just watch. Let's just watch. I need to see. Adopt a dog. You miss having a pet? I know. Well, we only haven't had a pet for like 10 minutes. <laughs> the, the cat died right at the end of our last stream. So look. <gasps> Why does it look like that? <laughs> oh, there she is. Do you drop the fox thing? That's too easy. Why does, oh my God, you guys are trying to get us to get a fox. Chat was trying to say, oh, get a fox, get the fox. Could you imagine if I had adopted the fox instead? That would have been a huge mistake. I knew. The second I saw it, I knew. Anyway. <laughs> Flap attack. Jess and Myra, Jay, and I'm full of Danny and Moe, so much. Shelby, thank you for the subs. There are ads playing, which is devastating. I'm so sorry. Um, but we'll, uh... We'll let them finish playing. My dad is texting me. Why does he always do it as soon as I get live? <laughs> he always texts me asking me to do things when I'm streaming. <sighs> oh my. We'll wait for the ads to finish though so chat doesn't miss anything. Don't worry. Don't worry. Speaking of Sonted Soup, Captain, thank you for the subs. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let me see what he, let me. One second. I don't understand what he's asking me for. Um. Oh my God, my dad is texting me saying, you need to sign the thingy, you need to sign the email they sent you. They sent me an email two minutes ago. Why are you acting like I missed something, dad? Two minutes, I've been live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm streaming. <laughs> what do you mean? I I was made to feel like I just like like missed an email and I did a bad thing Wait, two minutes ago. <laughs> I've been streaming. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, sorry. It's fine. <laughs> the ads are finished playing too, so we can keep watching this now. Sorry. Don't worry. I didn't make you miss anything. Chat. Don't worry. Uh, ghoul. <laughs> who changed their name? Ghoul Pulp. Pulp is love. Pulp is life. With the 16 months. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Punk and Jen and Captain and, and Anna. Thank you so much. All right. Let me watch more of this. Why does Brandy look like that? Brandy. It's a puggle. Should I get it? Why am I being so What quiet? do I call it? I wish I could see the chat. Get two? We can't, we have seven sims. See, they wanted me to get the fox. That's why everyone's like, get two, get two. They wanted, they, chat at the time wanted Huey. They wanted the fox. They didn't even want Pulp. Oh, I'm could really, you, you know I you love an ugly imagine? dog. You know I love an ugly dog. Yeah. Okay. 
What should we name it? Rusty? You think Rusty? Naga. I want it to get- oh, it's not that ugly. Oh, you were way uglier in that picture. Oh, no, you look a little bit- <laughs> It looks a little bit like- okay, okay, hear me out. It looks a little bit like Baby Yoda. <laughs> also, this was back when there was the, um, do you remember the bug where you would pause the game and Sim's heads would turn? This was back when the, the moving when pause thing was happening. I forgot about that. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> that's so creepy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then at one point, Shella's gonna tell us to name the dog Pulp. And then the rest was history. I really <laughs> kind of like it. You haven't even seen oh it with his mouth God. open yet. This just made my day. Okay, let me come talk to the dog. Bonita. Oh, Blaze was like still a teen. That's so weird. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> what should we name it? Okay, so we thought about naming a human Clementine, but then I never got a chance to because I had too many kids. I think it needs to be- I think it needs to be an orange theme. I know that, like, we have a lot of funny jokes about it looking like Baby Yoda, but I think that it needs to be an orange theme. Yeah. I don't know. This is kind of fun to look back on, though, because <laughs> we really had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. And it's so funny because we had, like, the previous gen sim grave was still there and everything. That's wild. Anyway, pulp makes sense now. Oh yeah, if you weren't around at the time, yeah, it's because it was like the orange Jen's dog. So it was like orange juice. That's why Shella wanted to call it pulp. Clementine was way too normal. Yeah, this is way better. Well, thank you for taking this trip down memory lane. I feel really good about this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get used to watching yourself back like that? Oh, like watching my- yeah, you know, um, it's one of those things that I think a lot of people feel weird hearing their own voice. I have reached a point now where I feel like my voice sounds the same on video as it does in my head. Like I've kind of been able to combine them and it doesn't bother me. I do sometimes watch clips of myself and think that I'm annoying. I'm like, oh my god, why are you yelling so much? Like, please be quiet. But otherwise, I, I'm so used to seeing myself on a video that I'm not that worried about it. It's just sometimes I'm like, ooh, why did you have to yell like that? <laughs> why are you Why are you doing that, you know? Um, but I understand the, the pain of like hearing your voice on camera. It, the more you listen to it, the more normalized it gets to you. I really have felt that way for a long time. Like, I, I almost feel like I sound the same in my head as I do in that video now, even though like when I first started, I didn't feel that way. Um, but I think everybody feels so that, you know? <laughs> That's so normal. Um, well, I was gonna- I opened Cass because I was gonna put Pulp on the gallery, but she already is on the gallery, so we should be okay. Um... Will Elphaba use the Crystal Creations? Yes! That's like one of our first orders of business today, is I want to do some work on the basement to get some more crystal things in the basement. Um, because we have like our little spellcaster stuff down there, but I want to get some more things for crystals in the basement, because we have that all to use now, too. Um... But... <laughs> I know, in the, um, in the other, like, back in the day, with all my other Sims pets, people are like, use an age down tree! And then I'm like, no, we can't have a pet live forever! And this one, the pet lives forever. So. <laughs> oh, really, Chloe? I guess that makes sense, um, because that was so long ago. Like, I, I probably did sound a lot different when I was in high school. I don't- I don't want to go back and watch those videos. I'll- I'll watch stuff from the last couple of years. It- it makes me, like, really cringe deeply to go back and- and watch videos of myself when I was in high school. Which I think anybody would feel that way. Like, realistically, if you had to go back and watch videos of yourself in high school, you'd cringe too, right? Like, it's not just me. Um... But I don't really want to- I don't want to go back. I don't- it's beyond just what I sound like. It's like, I'm embarrassed to even know what I was talking about. Like, I don't even want to listen to what she has to say. Ugh. <laughs> you know, like, I just don't have any interest in- I- I'm just different now, I guess, you know? So I don't want to- 
Um, yeah, the basement can mess with the terrain, but don't worry, it, it doesn't here, because um, I, I built it that way on purpose. You can see I intentionally had it not get up against the edge on purpose. Um, okay, so I want to get the crystal things down here in the basement. I may get myself a couple more lights on the wall. I kind of like the idea of some lights hanging on the wall, because I like how it's kind of dark. Um, <laughs> little Kale, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Uh, little with the gifted subs as well, and Breezy, and Doctor, and Musical, and Kai, and Survive, and Carl, thank you so much. Um, okay, so we'll get all of that in here. Maybe I'll move the bookshelves to be on this wall. And then I'll put like the crystal stuff over here in this corner. Hi, Brew, how are you? You've grown to enjoy the cringe things you did and say, actually, that's good. I'm glad that you have that, that feeling about it. Um, I don't know, I was really annoying in high school. Really annoying in high school. And it's, it's a real shame that <laughs> it's like documented. <laughs> It got me to where I am, so there's that, but I was real annoying in high school. <laughs> I think I'm still annoying, but I, I find myself to be a more tolerable level of annoying now at this point in my life, you know? Um, so there's that. <laughs> Coco Crispy, thank you for the gifted subs. Um, and Cozy, and Peppa Pig with the subs, oh my. Kale, thank you for the gifted subs again. <sighs> oh. Anyway, what else do we want to get? Maybe like some supplies and there's not a lot of space for me to put like decor in this room, I guess. But that's okay. That's okay. All right, maybe I'll get some like little prints on the wall too. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm actually having a great time doing this renovation. <laughs> We're probably gonna wanna get some stuff, like, I guess we'll want some shelving, right? I'm kinda thinking I might try and get these, cause these will give me plenty of space. Oh my God, I hate that. I always try and put them on the bottom, but they don't slot to the bottom, just to the top, for whatever reason. I don't know. Crystals on top of the hutch. Oh, do they slot up there? Oh, they don't slot, but I can put some. I can put them myself, I guess. And that would be fine. Um, we'll, we'll see if we can, do I have any crystals in my inventory? No. I don't know if anybody has any. I might have to go just hunt for them myself. Oh, you have one. You have a lot of potions too. Well, I could put it up as like decor. I shall do that. How was Olivia? Oh, it was so fun. I had a blast at the concert. It was a really good time. Um, we got to see Chapel Run too because she opened for Olivia and it was just really good. That was on Tuesday. Yeah, that was on Tuesday. All of a sudden the week I'm like, it's like thrown off by, um. <laughs> Uh, by what's been going on. I streamed in the morning on Tuesday because of that and it like confused me because I always stream in the morning on Wednesdays. You know when you have like a slight change to your schedule, it just throws everything off, but. Um, cool. Well, I'll leave that for now then. I won't, I won't, well, I guess I probably shouldn't spend too much money. I'll let you finish putting the babies in their beds um, and then we can start working on crystals tomorrow. Um, which should be good. <laughs> Megan Lemonheart, thank you for the subs. Um, you think so, Moon Mage? I mean, I, I don't think I'm actually that annoying. I think that everybody has some like insecurity and feels a bit self-conscious that they are being annoying sometimes though, you know? Um, I think that's normal to feel that way about yourself. Cause especially like, you know when you like leave a conversation in real life with a person like face to face and you're like, oh my God, I was being so annoying. And you get all embarrassed and you like overthink it. Yeah, I, I think everybody feels that way a little bit. <laughs> but I'm glad that you don't think I'm being annoying. <laughs> um, we've all been there, but. 
Um, yeah, there was a patch for The Sims 4, uh, but it was like an emergency bug fix patch. Nothing like big was added, it was just bug fixes. Um, so, come on. Oh, you're feeding the baby. Oh, that's good actually that you're doing that. Good choice. All right, and then put Jort to sleep after that and then we can go to bed. Anyone else find The Sims infant sounds very annoying to listen to? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we all do, I think. Um, Megan and Lemon, thank you for the resubs, both of you too. You haven't updated your game, you don't want the shopping cart? Well, you might not get it. That's probably not good advice because you also might get it. It's probably more likely than not, but not everybody has a shopping cart. Um, it's not as bad as the initial feelings to it were because they stopped it with the blinking. It wasn't supposed to blink nonstop, but like there were some bugs where it was blinking nonstop. Um, and now that it's not blinking, it's not as annoying anymore. So, um, it's not a regional thing. Uh, they're just testing it. So you just maybe will get unlucky if they test it on you. It, it just is trying to tell you how to buy packs in game. But I have it and it says you can't buy packs because you have them. So anyway, a lot of folks don't have it. Um, and there is actually a mod to remove it too, but <laughs> I, with some getting used to, it's not that bad. Um, it's not, not that, that bad. Um, so it's okay. Um, I've, I've, uh, the only problem is that sometimes I try and click there to go to the gallery and then I get annoyed, but now that it's not blinking, I don't find it as frustrating. It's annoying on like principle, but anyway. Don't really notice it. Yeah, it was mostly just because it was supposed to only blink when I assume when it was new and then you would click on it and then it would stop blinking. But then there was a bug where it was like continuously blinking and that was really, really agitating. Um, so do I think it was actually a bug? Oh, they're not trying to, I think people really want to see the worst in the Sims team. They're not going to make it blink nonstop forever on purpose. I don't, I know that some people really want to see the worst in them. That's frankly ridiculous. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. They, they tried to make it blink and show you that it was new. It wasn't supposed to nonstop blink. That's why it wasn't always nonstop blinking. Like I didn't, so for me, the day that it came out, it wasn't blinking. The next day is when the glitch arrived. Um, it was a glitch. It wasn't like, it was, there's an abs, I really believe there's no way they're gonna do that. I mean, it's like an accessibility concern. It, like, people, it's just, there's no, there's no reason they would have done it on purpose like that. They didn't want it to blink nonstop like that. They wanted it to blink, like, just to show you it was there the first time when it, we first loaded into the game, you know? Um, and then... After that, they wanted it to stop, but it didn't. That's why they fixed it immediately. So, um, why are you defending them? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you guys are scaring me a lot. I'm not defending them. I'm just cl trying to clarify, and and I think that like it is fair to defend them with an accusation like that. Like that's, I mean, the community rightfully was really upset about it blinking nonstop, and then they fixed it immediately because it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> like. If it was on purpose, they wouldn't have fixed it immediately. Um, they're not trying to anger everybody, you know? <laughs> like, their goal isn't to make the community mad. Um, I know it might feel like that sometimes, but that's not their intention. Um, toe and mouth milestone, not bad. Okay. Um, okay. Um, can you... All of the cats are kind of stressing me out too. I have too many pets. I shouldn't have gotten this many pets. But do you not even feed the baby? Oh my God, I need to age them up today. I can't do this. I actually cannot do this. It's so annoying. We have a little bit of time, but it thinks it can't use the litter box. Oh, do you think that's what it is? But they were fine with the litter box where I had it before. Should I put it on the patio and see if that helps? Oh, that one is sick. Do you have the treats? Oh, do I not have any wellness? I must've had a... There we go. I can give a wellness treat to this one quick. Twins, you're so brave. Yeah, and I did it on purpose too. Like I gave us, us twins intentionally. Yikes. 
Yeah, I think that the litter box, maybe it's just because it like randomly stops working. Uh, Cause I have this happen to me sometimes too. And I don't really get it. It's using it now. Oh my God, look at the cat. Okay, try again. Give that tree wellness treat. There you go, kid. Um, Pulp has a problem with being obsessed with the burn money. Oh my god. Pulp has, a, Pulp has a problem with being obsessed with that thing, so we just turn the fire off sometimes when that starts happening. Oh my god, look at the kid. So smelly. Okay, you get a bath. I put it in here. Alright, take one. I'll bathe Pulp too once we fixed our fun need. I can see Pulp has fleas, but there's only two adults here. <laughs> Chloe thanks for seven months. Um, yeah, I put fireplaces in a lot of my houses, and so Pulp always has issues with the uh, obsession, but... You rescued a horse? Yeah, I'll come see it. I'd love to know. <laughs> Our brother, Algae, adopted a horse. That's quite a fascinating plan. Um, see, both the infants use she, her pronouns, I think. I guess we haven't really decided yet, but I, I think they'll both use she, her pronouns. Um, twins and three pets is a lot. Yeah, I keep giving into the chat trying to get me to get more pets. And what I need to do is stop doing that. Oh, two horses! Oh my god. Wang and Shorty, Shorty and Twang. <laughs> I can't believe you adopted two horses. Should I? Hold on. Is there any space on this lot? Because I will give you. I will give you some stables. I can do that for you. More so for them, I guess. But I'll, I'll put some out here. How about that? Um, okay. Let me build them. A couple horse beds. I shall get a little fence. Oh, we can get some grass too for them. Is it a challenge? Wild prairie grass, yeah. Um, we don't really need to be doing this, but if my siblings are gonna adopt a horse, well then I'll make sure I make it ready for the horse. <laughs> it really, must you do it like that? Maybe I use this one instead. Okay. And then I'll get some little columns and I'll put a roof on top of it and it'll be good. And that should be all fine. Um, go back down. Come here. No, stop. Sorry, everybody. Oh my god. Clicked on the wrong thing like three times. Um. Okay. That's good. Now I can get my roof and my columns. And then we're all set. We'll get them water and food too, don't worry. We really don't need to do this for our Sims. <laughs> they really do not actually need this at all, but sometimes it's fun to go for it and do it. Um, I put a couple of columns. The fence deleted itself. Oh, in the back. Yeah, welcome to The Sims 4. It always does that. We love a side quest. Yeah, there you go. You get it. Okay, um, should I like close that in a little bit more? I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me, as long as it has enough to be functional. Um, we want to get this, I want to get horse food too. If I just search horse, will it give me like a horse feeder? Yeah. Okay, and then maybe I could give them a, oh my God. I'll put some barrels. We don't need them yet because the horses are only babies, but we'll have it for later. Yay. Oh, no, wait, hold on. 
I love this house. I think it's so cute. But let me... You have a horse? No, 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 no. I don't have a horse. My Sims brother got a horse. Hope. I'm really sorry to be the one to break it to you. It's not us. It's algae. Don't forget the play ball. Oh my god. You guys, just remember again, we're not actually playing with these Sims. <laughs> So, so they won't actually be able to play with this ever, but we can get it. I have water for them. They have food. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, their names are Twang and Shorty. Oftentimes, the reason I say that is because I'll have my Sims have kids in like their, you know, in their siblings' houses that will have like, you know, nieces and nephews and stuff. And then I won't put like a crib for them. But I gave the horses a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Ella, Epic, Chloe, thank you for the subs. So that's, oh my god, too many sims in my house. Huge yikes. Huge yikes. But it's okay. We go back home. We'll age up the babies then into toddlers. Um, and then we'll see. Oh, you know what might be helpful? Um... Do you all have any particular toddler hair recolor suggestions? Because we need blue hair for our toddlers. So if anybody has any, um, any preferences, that would be good. Um, okay, you fill them. And pronouns for the babies? I know we already set them as she, her, I think, for both um, in cast as soon as they became infants, so. Um, okay, let's make a, oh wait, no, 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 not that. I was about to make a cake and then I clicked on a yogurt parfait. That's not gonna get you anywhere, Kayla. <laughs> you need a cake. <laughs> Alec, uh, Aliyah, and Epic, and Chloe, thank you for the subs. I didn't mean shade of blue. I meant like a literal, like, like this item of CC from this CC creator is um what I was picturing. <laughs> so. Um, oh. We've got a massive collection of uh, toddler hair by Noodle CC again. We could use these. These seem good, Bruin. I show them to chat. We've got a bunch of options, and the the sorbet colors are perfect. So, I say we pick these. Okay, I'll download that in a minute then. Once we get them aged up, um, we've used a lot of Noodle's hairs, um, hair recolors in the past for this. I'm not gonna join a different job. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh my god, I hate how they always cook inside of this counter. It bothers me so much. I think I probably should put something there. Like, slot it to it so they don't do that anymore, but... It's fine. I'll just let it be, I guess. Um, okay. Are they cooking into the cabinet? Yeah. Yeah, they sure are. Pulp is hungry. Well then eat, Pulp. There's food inside for you. Get it together. Um, okay. Well, we're almost done cooking. Um, we'll get some birthday candles added to this cake. You're holding this baby, so let's see if we can get help from Elphaba. I'm just gonna age him up. It's basically their birthday, so it's fine. It's fine. Um, in the meantime, also, do you want to give Pulp a bath so chat can stop getting upset about it? <laughs> and what's wrong with you? Are you cold? Oh, morgue-like. Okay. I'll do that too. Alright. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. If you have blue skin, does it not show that you have hypothermia? Um... With them being- oh, the baby bit me, so now I don't want to feed it? Right. Um, well, well, with their skin being blue, if they start freezing, I think it's technically a different shade of blue that they get- wait, where's- <gasps> What is wrong with you? Why would you- oh my god, I'm gonna teleport the baby over to our house. 
It does this when you reload the lot sometimes. That is so unbelievably annoying. I'll, I'll get myself in here, it's fine. I can handle it. All right, and let's see if, are you gonna do it now? Will you age me up? Yeah, it is a really weird bug. I don't understand why the, oh my God, the cat is eating my stuff. Are you like doing tummy time? Stop, I just wanna age up the baby. Broccoli, are you done yet? Just a question, just wondering. Just wondering. Okay, let me move this onto the kitchen counter. And then the one I wanna age up is this one. Candles help from Alphaba. <sighs> is it just this broken because twins? No, the infants are kind of buggy, just generally speaking, um, but it's made worse by there being twins because it's like double and harder for you to take care of them because there's two of them. So, when's the next kid for Moss? Oh, we'll have a kid in a minute. Um, I'll, I'll get the, these babies aged up and stuff and then we can think about having another one. Okay, I'll randomize the toddler trait. Independent is good, Denim. That's really good. Oh, huge relief. Okay. Um, would you care to get the other one aged up too? I don't ask for much. Oh my God, stop with the cake. Leave me alone. Okay, come here for this one. Candles help from Alphaba. I can get this baby some food. <sighs> There's like a whole tofurkey in the fridge. You can have one of those. <laughs> I think denim is a nice name, yeah. I, I'm seeing a lot of questions. Why are they blue? Are they gonna stay blue? What's wrong with them? Why are they blue? Their mom's green. And they're the blue generation, so that's kind of the, the uh, concept. They're actually born green, but I switched them to blue because I thought that it made more sense because they're the blue gen. So, that's my thought process. Messy eater! Oh, that's bad, Denim. I just said I liked you. Hmm. Oh, okay, Jort is fussy. That's bad news. <laughs> that is bad news for us. No, they're not aliens, but their mom is a spellcaster. Their mom is a spellcaster. Okay, let me quickly, I'm gonna close the game, uh, get that CC from Noodles, and then um, we will uh, start there, I think. Um, these are all CC hairs, so we have to pick which ones we want, I guess, first. Um, what hairstyle are you thinking? Because we'll have to download the mesh, too. I think... I kind of like this little ponytail. And that'll come with a, that'll come with a bunch of them. That's like all of this is in one. You think seven is cute? Oh, seven is cute too. Oh, I like that. I think 17 is, oh, a 19 is also cute. Okay, I'll download a few of them and then we'll, um, we'll start there. What did I say? One, seven, don't worry, I'll get there. Um, what else do people want? Seven? Okay. I'm downloading some things for us. And we'll go from there. Six, please. Okay, we want, someone else wants number six. Someone else being Christine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't usually do a lot of, um, oh God. Um, do I want these? I don't know which one I'm looking for. Oh boy. This is why downloading CC is, uh, on stream is kind of chaotic. Um, let me download 
all the rest of this stuff. Um, I never use CC on stream. Like, basically ever. <laughs> so this is kind of fun, I guess. Um, oh, hi Maeve, how are you? Yeah, I'm thinking that Jort is 100% gonna be the heir. Oh, one of them was deleted. These are from like 2017, so. Oh, that one was deleted too. Okay, <laughs> we'll see what we can do with the options that we have. A couple of them are no longer there. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. This is why we maybe should have uh, merely downloaded recolors of EA hairs, but it's okay. It is okay. Um... Oh, I don't think I downloaded- wait, did I close out of that? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, I didn't get the recolors, I just got all the rest of it. Yikes. Get <laughs> sound match isn't there anymore? I know, it stinks, it really does. Uh, Ryan, Flondy, Jody, Laura, thank you for the subs! Um, alright, it's still downloading. We're almost there. I think Jort should- are we kind of on the same page about this, about Jort being the heir? It is unfortunate that Jort, um, ended up, uh, being, like, fussy. <laughs> uh, but it's fine. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, everything's fine. Um, well, you know what, before I get more of these, let's just test that they work. Um, and we can decide on the hair. I don't like downloading CC on stream. I'm feeling a little bit stressed, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, but and Polly and Rhonda and Jody and Ren, thank you for the subs. Um, you thought the name Jort was weird, but now it's growing on you? Oh yeah, but that's the point. It's fun when it's weird. I think it's better that way. But... <laughs> Hi Lupin, it's nice to see you. I feel the same way about about streams on Twitch and stuff like that. I think it's really fun um, to watch content live. There's just something quite special about like, I don't know, we're all literally doing this together right now, you know? <laughs> like it's a group effort and we're all doing it at the same time. Um, are we playing with the air as an adult after the challenge is done? Um, well, so the blue gen is the last gen, so they're gonna have kids. So it's more like a question of are we gonna play with their kids or not, but um, well, we're still unsure of our next plan, I guess. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just ruined my Spotify. Hold on. Um, by scrolling across my computer, I switched the speaker that it's playing from. There we go. Um, okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, and AC, and, and Fuzz, thank you for the subs again. Um, should do the career legacy or the Disney princess one. I'm, I think I'm more leaning towards making another legacy of my own. Is kind of what we're considering at the moment. But I don't know if we'll do that straight after this or if we'll do it later. It kind of depends. Um, but we've been thinking about making a challenge instead. Um, but we'll see. Aren't Jort's jean shorts? Yes. <laughs> That's why the twins are called Denim and Jort. It's kind of like a theme, little twin theme. Will you have a spreadsheet? Um, yeah, probably, but we'll see how, uh, we'll see how complex it ends up being. I haven't written it yet, so let's not ask any questions. I don't even know if I want to, so let's not, let's not get too into this, okay? <laughs> Let's not dive too deep yet. We're still playing this one. <laughs> um, let me pop into cast. Let me go into cast off full edit mode. I did not download the recolors because I got overwhelmed and I wanted to look at the hairs first so that I could think about it. Um, I almost want to get recolors of EA hairs instead of CC ones just because we'll have maybe more options. Um, but I don't really know what I'm thinking. 
Um, we did before. We downloaded, like, um, we've downloaded, like, recolors of entire packs and stuff. So, um, let me see about... Well, let's hope that actually the CC I downloaded works. That's step one. And we have some options. Obviously, these are not recolored yet. Um, but we have a couple of hairstyles. What do we have here? Um, toddler hairs and EA unnaturals. Oh! Um, these are the hairs that they did in a patch. So it's only a couple of them. But that's an idea too, if we wanted to use an EA hair recolored. Um, I do like this one. I would like to use this one. Um, I don't know. You're going to keep searching. <laughs> um, I don't know if Jort had this birthmark as an infant. I don't remember giving her a birthmark. I kind of love that the, that the game potentially gave her a birthmark. Um, cause I don't think that we did that, but I kind of love that. Jort is a spellcaster, but I think that's really nice. That's really cute. I think, um, oh, we did. Oh, did I give Jort the birthmark? She had vitiligo. Did. Oh, she did have vitiligo, but it didn't age up correctly. It, like, the game randomized it into two other swatches. It didn't have the ones that we put before. I think that's a known issue where the vitiligo keeps turning into birthmarks in people's games. Hmm. Well, I don't really know about that game, but... Um, I guess I haven't had, I haven't had that happen to me with an infant yet because the other sims that I have used the vitiligo update on were like teens and young adults. So I have, and they're like, that stays the same when they age up. I haven't had it between infants yet. Um, so that's, I, I guess a normal, uh, known bug is that it's doing that. So that's a huge yikes. Um, <laughs> great. Um. Well, we'll get the CC installed then, so that we can get the hair recolors. Um, I'm gonna download... Um, you think denim would have long hair and Jort's hair would be short? You think so? I don't know yet. Um, I feel like I haven't given long hair to a toddler just in general in a long time. Um, but all our fun ideas. Um, okay, so let me get the file. I guess I'm gonna need to, um, I'm gonna need to open this. Okay, which, what, what, which CC were we using? I closed out of the thingy, so that's a problem too, is that I don't have the thingy anymore. I don't have the guide, so I don't know which ones to grab. I also have to close the game. Okay, let me look at this again really quickly. Um, it was these. So we wanted to use number one we have, and then we also have number seven. So I'll get number one and number seven and I'll install them really quickly. I have to close the game again though. <laughs> um, we can say the magic makes their hair grow faster. That's why they have long hair at a young age. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like the storyline of that. That's kind of fun. You feel like Jort would have a bowl cut? Okay, so just remember, um, we don't have a lot of options here for toddlers. We're, we're getting specifically whatever we can manage. <laughs> um, we're getting specifically what we can manage from the, the recolors that we downloaded. We need to like not overthink the toddler situation this much. Otherwise, we're never gonna be done. We can have like more interesting hairs as children. It's way easier to get CC for children. The toddler thing, it's not good. It's too much stress for us to be worrying about it this much. 
So let's let's one step at a time, you know. Is Simsy a CC or now? No, I use CC for not so very because we want to have blue hair for our toddlers. We don't have um, any hairs otherwise that are blue for the toddlers. Um, yeah, and their toddlers have a short amount of time, exactly. But we don't need to have CC when they're older because they have all the other hairs come in blue. So, um, but anyway, let me get these installed. What did I say? One, seven. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Um, documents, electronic cards, Sims 4, custom content. Okay, so I want to grab all of these. And then I'll drag them into the folder. Oh my, and then we need number seven too. Okay. I think I've got us prepared now. Sorry about the detour, everybody. Um, CC shopping on stream causes me extreme stress. I actually feel like really anxious right now. I know it's dumb, but that's how I feel. So, my camera was focusing on the freezer bunny. Was it? Oh, that's weird. I don't know why. Are those in-game paintings on the wall? Oh, behind me? Yeah, those are posters from City Living. They gave those to me? in 2017 at the City Living in-person Sims event they had. Um, Anna, guy with glasses, brain of Mia. Rai, thank you for the subs. It's freezing on your end too. Hmm. I don't know why it's, I'm not dropping any frames or anything, so that's really weird. Why is it making you anxious? <laughs> Well, I mean, there is no answer to that question. Anxiety gonna anxiety. Um, I think it's just the the taking a detour and trying to choose something and also like not being in game and like doing something that's taking a while that isn't the game while I'm streaming and there's 3,500 people here. That's part of it. It's just like the doing the thing and setting the thing up when there's all these people around. That's what's kind of stressful to me, so. Um. But sometimes you cannot explain why a thing is making you feel anxious. It just is. <laughs> <laughs> when you have anxiety like this, <laughs> sometimes it just, I feel like I cannot explain, it just happens. <laughs> it's irrational. That's like the thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, okay, well we got our, we got our stuff, so we should be okay. What if it doesn't work? Oh god. He'll be fine. Um, Anna and, and Kevin, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, it's good to see you. Anna, thank you for the sub too. All right, game, load a little bit faster. I had to be Band-Aid girl because I was picking my thumb too much. I don't know if you can tell. I've been embarrassed that this is on my thumb, but usually I don't wear my Band-Aids on stream because it's embarrassing, but today it was real bad, so Band-Aid girl. <laughs> We've been going through it. <sighs> it's okay. You always have Band-Aids on all your fingers. Yeah, at nighttime, um, I, it's really bad. I always have band-aids all over the place, but this one was bad enough today that I had to, yeah. So. <laughs> really? And I like that you have Spider-Man ones for that. That's fun. Um, anyway, this time I had to, I had to get my band-aid early in the day. <laughs> it's not just my thumbs either, but today it was my thumb really bad, so. I just have regular band-aids, no fancy ones. Okay, back to Cass. <laughs> Into Cass again. Today is all about setting things up, apparently. Maybe I'll give Pulp a new outfit for her birthday as well while we're in there. That seems fun. You deserve fancy band-aids, Simsy. Yeah, but I go through too many band-aids. So, when you get the these kinds, you can get them in like loads of them. Yay, okay, so this is Jort. She has like a kind of like sky blue energy to her. Oh my God. That is a really nice color. I think I want to use that color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have her keep this hair. I love that, I think that's really cute. And then denim, let me see what other hairs we have that are CC. And we'll pick from there. Um, I'm missing a mesh. <laughs> okay, we only have a couple options um, because somebody only downloaded a few hairs. I did like this ponytail 
And maybe I can give denim like a darker blue hair. I think that's good. I like it. I think that's really cute. The pigtails might also be good. But, oh wait, maybe the pigtails are better. I let's do pigtails. Let's do pigtails. Okay, now we gotta do all their outfits. And we'll obviously we'll get more CC and, and do more personality when they're older. It's just hard when they're only toddlers, I feel like, to decide. Um, Jort, all we know is that she's magical and fussy. Which isn't a lot to go off of. <laughs> um, I think that they should both wear jeans. I think that's kind of fun. Oh my god, Werewolves has a little overall set. I don't know if I've used that much. I guess I knew it. I guess I knew that. I don't think I realized that it had a plain swatch like that one. Look at the little wolf on it. That's so cute. Um, okay, I think that we should wear jean shorts for at least one of our outfits. To me, that feels necessary. <laughs> at least one needs to have it. Come on. That kind of matches the vibes. Oh, there's also this. That kind of has Jort's energy. They're not aliens. No, their mom's a spellcaster. You can see the Sims a spellcaster. Um, they're not aliens, though. We got spellcasters in the household. Um, I think... Is there any, like, little... I mean, probably not jewelry and stuff, right? Probably not finger nail polish either. Is there necklaces for toddlers? No. Oh my god, look at the little floral. Oh! <gasps> no, we're gonna wear that for our uh, hot weather outfit for sure. Let me see if I can find her, like, a little pair of jorts. These aren't really jorts, though. They don't really have jort energy. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's gonna work for me or not. Um, oh, I do love this sweater. This is like one of my favorite things in the entire game. Do you think that these have jorts energy? Oh my God, that has jorts energy. There you go. Sorry guys, don't worry, we got it fixed. That's fine. That will do. That's not really as blue, or at least not the right shade of blue that I really want it to be, but that's okay. We can wear a little t-shirt and have our little jorts. A darker blue for balance as a shirt. Oh, um, I just want to say welcome to the Not So Berry Challenge. Uh, in this house, there's no such thing as balance. Um, it, it, everything is blue, and we sort of like heavily commit to that. We like really commit to the to the generations. Um, so it's it's not like balance isn't really um, a thing that we strive for. You know, <laughs> I think she's really cute. I like this little sim. This this with the yeehaw stuff is also really cute. But I don't know if that's gonna work for our purposes. Oh, that's like denim. It has a little bunny on it as well. Okay. We could, if we wanted to, have a little hat. Let's try that one. And I do think I like the idea of like the little blue shoes that we had from before. And the socks are fun. Okay. Swimwear. I don't know if we're going to end up using this all that much, but... That kind of works. Do you want to do like pool floaties? Yeah, you do. Okay, so, uh, for hot weather. What did I say she was gonna wear for hot weather? Didn't I have a thing in mind? Oh, the sunglasses. That's all I knew. <laughs> all we knew was sunglasses. We have not decided on the rest of it yet. <laughs> but that's enough to go off of. We could always do a little tank top then for this, and we can have the little jorts back. Because those are pretty cute. Some little shoes. Okay. Cold weather. 
These come in a lot of different blues. Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. Okay, maybe like a little blue hat too. <gasps> Look at this snowman on the back. Oh, I don't think I knew that this swatch had a snowman. That's really cute. Um, maybe some little blue polka dot shoes. Okay, I think the sim is ready. So here's Jort. <laughs> Here is Jort. My mods have been linking the CC, by the way, if you're looking for it. Um, I think she's good like that. Ah! Oh my god. We might have to deal with a lot of that with the hairs glitching back and forth. So, um, don't say I didn't warn you, I guess. I guess this is good because then Denim can have, like, the more, um, I don't know, I guess she can just be, like, more of a darker blue sort of color scheme. Um, maybe I'll put her with some, like, little tights. But we can do that kind of on purpose, you know? Have them be, like, slightly different from each other. I like that. Yeah, they have different shades of blue skin, too. We were trying to make them, them look a little bit different from each other. Um, so she has it. There's a lot of, believe it or not, there's a lot of different shades of blue skin. Um, there's even more when you're a spellcaster. If you look at this sim, she's got more options. I don't really understand why they give you more when you're a spellcaster, but um, there's, there's quite a few different shades of blue, so... <laughs> um... I don't know, dark blue shoes is probably better too, but I don't really know if we have that many shoes that are dark blue. So we have to look. Colors, blue. I don't know. Yeah, see, like the, the vibes are like way off with the shoes. I might just stick to those. Should we put... No. <laughs> That's too much even for us. Maybe we can- maybe she has a hearing aid though. I think that's good. I always forget which one is on both. Yeah, it's the first one. Okay. Yeah, they don't seem identical. No, they- they're definitely not identical twins. Um, you can tell they have different faces. I can tell already that Denim looks like her mom. Um, which is kind of fun. Baby glasses are cute for hot weather outfits. Yeah, I think so too. We'll definitely do a little bit of that. You know what's good is this dress. This has like that kind of navy blue color to it. That'll be good for her formal outfit. This is such a pretty dress. Such a pretty dress. Um, our sleepwear. Maybe she could wear the one with the... Oh, you know what? This is new. Let's wear this. That's got denim energy. Um, our party wear, I want to wear jeans. I guess I want to wear jeans for multiple of our outfits. I may give her a second everyday outfit so she can have her jeans. Little duck shirt. I like those shoes because they're kind of cute with like the cloud on them. Swimsuits matching. Oh, they can have identical swimsuits. I like the idea of them having matching swimsuits. That's kind of cute. <laughs> We can do that. I like that. Um, they'll have the same thing for both of their swimsuits. Hot weather, maybe you just wear like... Oh, I... no, actually no, never mind. Maybe we could get a cute tank top. No, I don't know about that either. Oh no. Maybe that. Is that too, like... It's hard to explain, but is that too... Oh, that's fine. Aren't blue swimsuits dangerous? Yeah, in real life, um, you wouldn't want to put like a little one in a blue swimsuit because it's hard to see it from like the bottom of the water. Um, God forbid in case of an emergency. Um, but it's the Sims and they don't go in the water ever. So you don't really have to worry about that in the game. <laughs> Thankfully. Um, yeah, that's a, a good thing to point out. There's like swim safety tips of the colors of swimsuits that are most visible in the water. Um, but these kids do not have that. <laughs> these kids apparently do not apply, which is probably bad, but um, 
Yeah, a lot of people never thought about that, but it makes sense. I've seen people talk about that online. I, I didn't know about that until relatively recently, to be honest. Um, but obviously I'm not uh, around small children or anything. <laughs> But, like, neon pink, orange, and yellow are the best, right? Um, red is also not good. Orange and yellow are better, I think. Um, but these kids are all blue. <laughs> so, um, not good. I bet that green, green isn't great either. Why is red bad? I don't know. It just depends what you can see mo most easily in the water. Um, but I, if you look it up, I'm sure there's, like, pictures and information on why. Um, I'm just repeating what I've seen. Um, neon is good. <laughs> um, it makes it easier for you to see them in the water. So, Red filters out in water so it becomes dark and hard to see. There you go. Um, I forgot, oh, I forgot Pulp's outfit. Oh, no. Oh no, we have to go back and do Pulp's outfit too. Sorry. <laughs> Cougar, Sarah, Unicorn, Emerald, thank you for the subs. Um, yeah, a good thing to think about if you had never considered it before. Because um, I definitely never knew about that when I was younger. Um, yeah, I mean, and like, it's like funny to, I mean, joke about like, oh, so if you don't want to be seen, wear this, but but it's, I mean, like, it's a safety thing. Um, like, God forbid, in case of an emergency, and you know, you have to save a child out of the water. Um, you will be able to see them, so that's why people are talking about that. Um, okay, so I think Pulp, I'm gonna give you, oh, you know what? Pulp never wears any of her other outfits. She has a bow tie and everything. Look at that dinosaur. That's iconic. Let's see about, I guess she's been wearing orange because she is the orange gen. But maybe we could get her like a little dress. I have, dress doesn't feel like pulp though. Doesn't that seem wrong to you? Oh, little floral bandana. That's good. That's good. Okay, I like that. I can get behind that. Um, let me fix. Here we go. I still can't hear my game sound. I'm trying to fix it, but. Hopefully it works better. Um, Pulp is immortal, yeah, because we have been giving her age down treats nonstop. I think I put that dino outfit the day we adopted Pulp. <sighs> she never wears it. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Devastating. I'll fix it, though. I'll make her wear it. <laughs> you see Pulp in a business suit? Oh, I could totally see that, too. That seems right. Oh my god, after this, we're finally through all of our loading screens for the day, I think. Alright. Save the game. Game audio's back. We should be good to go. <laughs> we made it through all of that, finally. Um, do I think Pulp would be a lawyer? Oh, yeah. 100%. Okay, let me get rid of one of these baby cribs, because we are going to turn the other room into their shared bedroom. And this one will be for our future sibling that we're gonna try and birth today. Um, and then we can make them a shared toddler room. I'm really having fun with the decorating of the blue themed rooms. I really like it. It's like genuinely very exciting to me. Um, okay, so annoyingly there is some water on the ground. Huge yikes there. Um, Pickle did move out a while ago. Yeah, we've got seven Sims in our household, so. Um, we had too much going on with all that. Alright. Um, they unfortunately do have to share a room. I'm kind of interested in using wallpaper that I don't normally pick. Uh, for example, I think that's kind of fun with the blue and the strawberries. I don't know if I ever use the all blue on that one. I usually go for more pink tones. Um, that kind of has toddler energy. What happened to Tinker? Oh, that's my other series. You're thinking of my YouTube series, Kate, when you say that. Um, Tinker's on my YouTube channel. These Sims are on my Twitch channel. I've got like two legacies going. So Tinker's fine. <laughs> um, confusingly, and I didn't do this on purpose, I currently have two green non-binary legacy heirs right now, which upon more thought was not the best idea, but it wasn't meant to be at the same time. Like it, 
you know? But here we are <laughs> with, with them both at the same time. Um, that is very oddly specific, yeah? <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll make their house very different when I build Tinker's house and stuff. Um, no, I don't stream my YouTube series. No, I just stream this one. Um, just not so very. I don't stream my, like, YouTube Nightmare Legacy. Um, I find it uh, very, very difficult. Oh, not green, blue. I find it very difficult to cut down um, streams into YouTube videos that are, like, effective. Um especially for like a, a series like that, because I talk about so much nothing. Like when you think about it, we've been live for an hour. Realistically, how much of this would actually make it into the YouTube video? You know, like not much. <laughs> we've been going on and on about nothing for so long. Um, and then I always like on stream, I look here at the chat which I think is kind of strange for the YouTube video because like the camera is there, but I'm always like looking at it like that, um, which isn't that big of a deal. But anyway, it's just like, it's difficult to cut down into something that is effective when I stream the um, videos first. We're gonna use this bed later when they get older because look how good that is. Um, okay, let me just go through and get all kinds of blue things for these kids. I think I like the clouds. Um, yeah, it would be, it would take a lot longer to edit because, because it, um, would have so much more in it, so much more useless content in it, you know? <laughs> um, like when I record my YouTube videos, if there's a piece of content that I anticipate being useless, I will like not speak during it, you know? So it's easy to cut out. But when you're streaming, you just, I just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk some more. <laughs> Um, we just go on and on, so... <laughs> Tika, thanks for the 44 months! Lola Sunshine, thank you for the resubs, too. Oh, we should save our game. Good call. Um... No, you can't build tiny home rentals, uh, Stacey, because there's, like, the tiny home is a lot type, and the rental is a lot type, and they're two different things. Um, so unfortunately you cannot, like, do a combo of a tiny home and a rental. Um, because they have to be separate things from each other. Let me look at all the toddler beds because I'm not really obsessed with this one. I guess this one kind of comes in a blue color. But I'm not really loving that either. Does this come in blue? Oh, you know what? That's more simple. Maybe that's better for our purposes right now. I don't know. Um, okay. You think someone's gonna figure out how to merge them? Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't really know how it would work. Uh, it's, it's similar to how, like, people ask me, like, oh, can you make a tiny house that is an apartment? Like, in, like, in San Myshuno, can you make that? Um, and the answer is no, because you can't have the same, like, the lot types, you know? You have to have them be one of one or the other you can't have like a haunted house and a tiny house at the same time stuff like that um okay so in this room i want to grab some more toys oh we should get some toddler stuff sorry for yawning that's my bad we should get some toddler stuff outside because we have a bunch of space out here now so we could get some like maybe the slide that one comes in blue too okay um, I'm also gonna get, I think, a toddler potty. I'm just gonna put it in the hallway. I know that sounds bad, but it's easier access, you know? <laughs> uh, and then what else? Maybe, like, a built-in bookshelf or something? Wish you could double up Haunted and Tiny. Yeah, it would be really cool if you could double up the lot types. I, I understand why it doesn't work, but it, I really wish that it did, because that would be super cool if you could. I guess one of them is a spellcaster, but that doesn't really have... Oh, no, kids' room stuff is better for this. Kids' room looks like a kids' room with the bookshelf. Look, it even comes in, like, blue... So, this is Moss's house, yeah. Um, this one is indeed Moss's house. 
colors, blue. Whoa, Kayla's going to potty train? <laughs> I potty train my sims sometimes. I do, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> sometimes. I don't like that dark blue, I don't think. Yikes. I do it, I, I do it when I'm not playing like the 100 baby challenge, okay? It's just that I've been playing a lot of the 100 baby challenge recently, so. You know, we've been having issues. Do you think that that curtain set looks weird or is it okay? It's very, like, teal, but I think that's fine, right? I think so. Yeah, it's like the high chairs. You don't need to do it. It's just, they're unnecessary. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, I hate the high chairs. I don't use those either. Waste of my time. <laughs> Um, there's no need to be doing all that. Okay, let me see about... Perhaps we get a cute little light, like... Oh, you know the little one with the... This thing with the fox. It comes in clouds. We can get cloud ceiling light, too. Like this one. Cute! Dark blue sheep poofs and clouds and moons for a cottagey witchy kids room. Oh, we can add to that when they get a little bit older. I'm I'm open to doing some things like that when they're a little bit older. Um, at this point, I'm kind of going for like generic kids room space. That's not good to say, but oh, cloud flooring is the ceiling. Oh, 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 oh. hold on, horse ranch. We have this. I can put clouds on the ceiling. I'll use the pink and blue one. We do have a little cloud wall shelf from the base game too that we can put in. So I can grab a couple of those. I may use it in like just the cloud swatch even. Above this, get a couple of them. Show the ceiling, yeah, yeah, look at this. Isn't that kind of fun? I like it. Snowy, thanks for the 26 months, an absolute place. Thank you for the subs, too. Um, love that we can paint ceilings, but you never do. Yeah, the I mean, this is the thing, though, right? Ceiling paint is good for a special occasion, but emphasis on the special occasion part. Because in real life, I've never painted a ceiling in real life. I mean, I know a lot of people do because it's like it looks cool and stuff. Um, I've never gone to the lengths required to paint a ceiling in real life. Um, but sometimes in a special room, it has like really good vibes to do that. Or maybe like a log cabin. Um, we want to have like wood paneling on the ceiling. It's like special occasions. Most times, like here, it's just white up there. Just plain white, you know? Um, so. Okay, let me think about... Paranormal, I want, not paranormal, parenthood. <laughs> I've never confused paranormal and parenthood before. That was a new one. Wow, sorry everybody, I don't know what just came over me. In all my years, I don't think I've ever, ever confused the two of those packs together. Weird, okay. Um, well anyway, I wanted to put the parenthood thing and I wanted to get some little toys. Um, your aunt is super artsy and has unique painted ceilings in every room in her house. I love that. I think that's so cool that she does that. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I've never really bothered with ceiling paint, I guess. Um, yeah, the activity table is for kids. We don't have that much stuff that we need for toddlers. Um... We can get a few things, but most of the stuff that I'm going to want to use is for children. And we'll get that once we get a little bit older. Maybe I'll put a dresser over here. This one has, like, cute kids' room energy to it. You have a textured ceiling so you can't do that? Yeah, our everywhere here is textured ceilings. We've actually been talking a lot about textured ceilings recently on stream. Which is funny that it's come out that much, or come up that much, I mean. Um, but we've been talking just about textured walls. 
all the time. We had like a whole discussion about it yesterday. <laughs> we were just going on and on. Um, okay, anything else that seems kids room appropriate? Probably gonna wanna get some more artwork and stuff on the walls and grab some more decor. Oh, I guess they could have, I mean, it's only a toddler's room though. So do they wanna have a calendar? Probably not. They don't need that. Yikes. How about that weird plushie? I guess that's accessible to them with that down there. Can I put this onto the shelf? Oh, the height chart would be cute too. I like that. I wanna fill up the shelves a little bit cause I don't really want them to like slot things to the shelves. So I'm kind of trying to put my own stuff there. Okay. The kids bookcase so they can grab books. Oh, I do have a bookcase. It's like, let me show, show you. There's a bookcase right there, like in the nook. Is that enough, do you think? Or should we put another one? Yeah, they will, Christine. I noticed that as soon as I said it out loud, I was like, well, actually they're gonna slot things there anyway. <laughs> but I just I just kept it. <laughs> I did notice that as soon as I said it. I was in my head, I was like, this isn't gonna make a difference because they're not slotted, but whatever. <laughs> I said it and immediately was like, mm, I didn't mean that, did I? <laughs> oh well. Okay, so. As far as other things go, I guess we should be a little bit careful about spending too much extra money. Because we don't want to overdo it. But... Those are fine. Should I put like a... Sims autonomously use shelves? Yeah, they put stuff on there. Sometimes like they'll take a dirty dish and just put it on a shelf randomly. Uh, so stuff like that is what Sims will autonomously use shelves for. <laughs> Not good stuff. <laughs> it's very annoying, actually. <laughs> what they end up doing with the shelves. Maybe I'll put these back. Oh, we could get a nightlight, too. And we're gonna work on getting some charged crystals. Maybe I could put the, tr the crystals on this shelf. As, like, a decoration. And maybe I could get some other pretty wall lights. Here's the nightlight that is literally like a nightlight. Do I wanna put any, like the blue stars? I guess these are kinda cute. We can put those across the top. I may end up keeping those for when they get a little bit older. And I'll put them in their house when they're in their bedroom as like a child or a teen. The crystals stay charged for a full 48 hours when they're fully charged. Actually, let me grab that too. We'll want the crystal grid. If we're gonna do this, I will want to grab the crystal grid and a little table. And all of a sudden I spent all my money, so we probably should stop. <laughs> all of a sudden we're like basically out of funds. So I'll put this over here cause I've got like a little bunch of space. Um, okay. Well, everybody seems to be fine now, I guess. Congrats to you two. Would you like to come work on sliding a little bit? Because then you can get your uh, movement skill up. Where are you going? Don't wander. Don't wander. Um, do you want to talk to the cat, maybe? I'm actually going to have my two sims try for another baby. Oh, maybe not yet. Let me take care of this one's needs first. <laughs> uh, and then we can try for a baby. <laughs> it better not be twins. Listen, I'm telling you right now, if it's twins, I'm getting rid of one. And don't tell me, oh, you have seven sims, you can't have twins. I can, my, my game is set to have 24 max in the household. So if there's extras, I'll be getting rid of one. So there. <laughs> so there. We'll see if we actually end up getting pregnant though. Oh, you probably should stop that. What skill level are you? Are you gonna be able to get up the stairs? Probably not. 
Uh oh. Don't deal with the toddler, stop. I will literally teleport them up just to make my life easier for the beginning. I'm serious. I don't even care. What are you doing? No, 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 go try for a baby. But people want a baby. Is it in the blue rules to have three? To have three kids? Oh, you can do whatever you want with how many kids you have. Um, we want three kids, but you can have as many as you want. In this challenge, at least. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna watch them. It's always a bit awkward, but... Yeah, most of the generations in Not So Berry do not have a kid number requirement. There's a couple that tell you to have just one or whatever it might be, but... Um, oh, Alan14 died too, of old age. It wasn't my fault. Let me just check this real quick. Okay, it's not twins. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. Um... Would you like to grab yourself a snack? Oh, is there no food in there? Oh no. Maybe you should serve a dinner. You could like make some faux meat and chips or something. And you can shower and then we'll take a pregnancy test. Okay. Do you think it's time for us to move past the Alan thing? Cause Alan was from the pink gen. And we're on the green gen now, almost blue gen. So should we pick a rat name that's like green themed? Like we talked about calling it Shrek or something? Or, okay. Shrek time? You think it's Shrek time? I know the cow plant is named Shrek, but it's not really enough. Like, you don't really hear about the cow plants. You hear about the rats. I, th I think it should be named Shrek. The cow plant is still alive? Yeah, there's three cow plants that are alive, Christine. I'll have you know. <laughs> In fact, there's multiple. <laughs> um, it's because we had them in our inventory because there's like weird bugs where they like die and then come back to life and stuff from build mode. It's really weird. I don't really understand it either, but that's why. Rename the cow plant donkey. I don't know what their names are. That one's not named. Oh, that one is Shrek. Okay, well, we can get this one to be called donkey. Maybe I'll call this one Fiona. Maybe broccoli. Oh, that's the name of our cat. This one's called broccoli. <laughs> okay. Um, you're gonna feed the, the cow plant. We should be fine there. Um, and then we can work on, I guess, do you want to come replace this? After you finish eating, you can take a pregnancy test. You've never watched Shrek and you do not want to? <gasps> really? Oh, I actually, I think that you might like it. I think you should give it a try. Shrek is fun. Growing up, I watched so much Shrek. Oh, look, you've got a toy. We, we used to watch Shrek, like multiple times in a row as children, my siblings and I. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't the alligator named Donkey? Oh yeah, but you can't, um, the alligator that we have in this pond, but you can't actually see it and you can't actually name it. It's just like story-wise, but there's no real thing named that, you know? I don't know why Pulp is sad. I'll work on that too. I have a lot going on in this house right now. Can I help you? Oh, you got down the stairs by yourself? Uh-oh. Can I bring you up the stairs again? Because you're inconveniencing me. Oh, you can't get to the bear, okay. I was hoping it would be fine, but... It's not fine. Oh, I should change Pulp's outfit. You're right. Um... Can I... Is there an MC dresser on you? No. How do you... Here we go. I wish I could just do it with my cheats, but alas. <sighs> I like using, I never press change outfit in game the normal way with anybody. I always just use MC Command Center for it. Eating for two! Oh god, I didn't take a screenshot. Oh, I don't think she looks too happy about that. 
She's like, I, my kids are finally not infants anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Not again. <laughs> Ex uh, Joe, thank you for the subs. Well, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, I was gonna have Moss come work on doing some drink making because we have to max this skill. And you don't have work today, it's like your day off. So we'll do that. Elphaba, I would like for you to make me some crystals. Let's design some jewelry for yourself first. We can get you some like cool earrings or something. Um, you have a couple metals. I should probably buy them though. Do you wanna use emeralds so they can be green? Oh wait, you're gonna sleep. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'll let you take a small nap. Um, then we'll, we'll go from there. Honest opinion, house slipper one or two. Oh, to me, there is not a single shot that house slipper one would beat out house slipper two. It's the second one has so much, it's, it's so much better. They improved so much in it. Um, did they fix the jewelry glitch? They've had a couple emergency patches for it. I still have not had it happen to me a single time. Um, so I guess I got lucky in that way. Um, but I never, I never experienced any bugs with um, the crystal pack myself yet. Um, I think they patched it yesterday though, um, in the emergency patch from yesterday, so I think it should be fine. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I guess I got lucky. <laughs> but, um, I didn't have any problems. Um, okay, well you keep working on that. What's wrong with you? Oh, they're upset about the rat! Oh, that's probably why Pulp was upset. It was because the rat died. I guess that makes sense. Did Pickle get a horse too? Wait, do you think so? Oh my god, should I go check? Both my both my younger siblings got horses. Hmm. The glitch mostly affected teens and adults, not really young adults. Oh, I guess that's why, because I mostly play with young adults. Maybe that's why I didn't see it. I didn't have any teens that I've tested the crystal pack with. Adults and young adults, that's who I was playing with. Hmm, that's weird. <laughs> I don't, it's very strange the kind of bugs that pop up, um, but they fixed it fast and it is what it is. Um, I don't know where Pickle lives. Do they live there together? Oh no, they're there together. So they didn't get separate horses. They just both got horses. They each have a horse in their house. I forgot they live together. Those are both of our brothers. They're there together. That explains it. <laughs> that explains it. Um, Kate, thank you for the 20 month resub. Should you get Home Chef Hustle or Crystal Creations? Ooh. Um, I think that the build mode from Home Chef Hustle is better. Purely because having a new kitchen set is like more long-term functional and useful for you. I think the gameplay from Crystal Creations is really fun and, and useful because it's new and it's easy to fit into things because like anybody can make jewelry and stuff. Um, having a pizza oven is really fun though. They're both, I think, very similar in scope, like the amount of content they come with. It just depends what you think you'll use more often. So it's hard to say, like, without knowing what your play style is and stuff. Um, I think that the cast from Crystal Creations is better, the build from Home Chef Hustle is better, and the gameplay is about even, just depending on what you want it for. Um, but the kitchen set, I, it's hard to say that, like, the pack that has the kitchen stuff is, like, worse, just because I, and this is me personally, I guess, too, but I use kitchen stuff so much. Like, having kitchen items is such a useful feature for me, so, um, like, long term, I'm gonna keep using kitchen stuff more often than I ever use crystals, just because you, you know, every house is a kitchen, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> it, uh, comes up a lot. Okay, um, Let's grab some of this. Oh my god, now Pulp's gonna eat the food. Yikes. Um, hey, hey, Kat, I love you so much, my friend. I'm so, so, so sorry to hear that. Um, and I, it means the world to me that we were able to be there for you during that. Um, thank you so much uh, for sharing that with us. What is she wearing? Oh, who, Pulp? She's a dinosaur eating french fries. 
It's her birthday, so she can do what she wants. What a creature this thing is, huh? <laughs> what a creature. <laughs> I kind of love it. Okay. Um, oh, I was going to have you come get some food. Can you not? Mm, you can't get downstairs either. I'm not really a afraid of teleporting my sims when I must. I'll do what I have to, is kind of my thought. On your dog's birthday, you give her tacos? Oh, nice! I'm gonna give, um, Snap's birthday is coming up in a few months. It's gonna be her 16th birthday. Sweet 16 for Snap. Um, I'm gonna get her, like, a toy car. Because she's gonna be able to drive. So, that's my big plan for her. <laughs> um, I might get her- I'm wondering if I can find her, like, a- like, a stuffed- toy, like a kicker toy or something that's car shaped, but also how hilarious would it be to get like a toy car that she can sit in and then take a little picture of her. Our sweet 16. <laughs> like a Barbie truck or something, yeah. They might have like a car shaped cat bed or something too, I don't know. Well, I'll find it. I'll start looking. Um, we'll see what we can get her that, that works, but all right, kids, everybody to bed, please. Um, all right, everybody off to sleep. I guess you can just keep sleeping through the night then, huh? I'm gonna try and cook up a couple more meals here with moss, just because we don't have that much food in the house. Um, oh, or like a scratcher. I bet they have a car scratcher or something. They make all kinds of stuff. We'll have to look. Um, do you want to make... How about some omelets? I don't know. We'll start there. Okay. Make a car out of cardboard boxes, cats like boxes. We could make one for her too, that's true. And then the kittens would like bite it. But that's all right. <laughs> okay, Moss, one more meal for you to cook for me. The cat's screaming, oh my God. I just want to get a little backlog of food. So we have options. Um, Lacey, thank you for the seven month free sub. Are you aging up Pulp? Oh, no, no, no. It's Pulp's birthday in real life. Pulp, we, we got Pulp uh, on yesterday of last year. <laughs> it's been exactly a year since we adopted Pulp and we just keep aging her down so she never dies. Um, but it's been a year since Pulp was actually born. That's why we're celebrating. Um, Real birthday, not just Sim's birthday. <laughs> um, it's a bigger deal. Also, I don't know how they can prep on that counter. I don't I don't know the answer to that either. They can clean it too. I wish they wouldn't. It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. Um, am I gonna post pictures from the Olivia concert? I haven't posted any pictures yet, no. Um, but I will probably on Instagram at some point. Um, I haven't posted any yet. I get a bit anxious about Instagram, as we all do. Um, I need to just drop it and like post whatever. Maybe I'll just post whatever later after I get off stream and come in. You know? I think that's the plan. Oh, also yesterday, I told you all that um, me and my mom and Dan and my sister and I, it was a group, like a whole group. We went to tour a venue for a potential rehearsal dinner location and we're gonna book it. Um, particularly because they do like the catering themselves there and they seem extremely flexible about menu and they were excited about it being all vegetarian. They were like, this is fantastic. We need to like up our vegetarian game and our like default standard menus. So this is a great idea. So I'm, uh, I feel good about that. <laughs> um, so that's nice. We'll have that booked and sorted then. Um, but yeah. Oh, I was talking to my mom about this. No, but none of us are really sure about the etiquette of the rehearsal dinner. We don't understand the purpose of the rehearsal dinner, truthfully, that much. But my mom thinks that we should invite everybody who's invited to the wedding because when people are coming from out of town, it's like nice to extend an invitation to them. Um, and everyone's coming from out of town, obviously. So we think we're gonna invite everybody. And I'm fine with that, but it's just weird. You know? 
The whole situation is just weird. <laughs> it sounds expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Thought it was the wedding party. Yeah, sometimes it's just the wedding party. Sometimes it's just family. Sometimes it's everybody. In this case, basically, it's just, that's family is everybody. The group's not that big. So, I don't know. Um, it really depends uh, what your situation is like. If I did just the wedding party, it would be my sister. So that's not really, um, <laughs> um, no, you don't understand. The rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner are different. The rehearsal dinner, my cousin's rehearsal dinners have been like big groups of like the whole extended family. So, you know, it just depends what people are doing and how formal they're trying to be and all sorts of stuff. It really depends. I think there's lots of different ways people go about it and lots of different etiquette around it, but, um, but yeah, a lot of times, um, like if you're trying to, I guess like trying to save money, A, you would do something smaller or not do anything at all. Um, or if everybody's local, you wouldn't have to worry about it so much. But um, anyway, <laughs> people often invite a lot of people from my understanding, at least in my family. So <laughs> um, we'll see how it goes. There wouldn't be like a hundred people. There's not gonna be a hundred people at the wedding itself. <laughs> So there won't be a hundred people there, don't worry. <laughs> um, but anyway, should be interesting. Um, I bet a lot of people wouldn't come. My thought is, because it's in Orlando, um, if I got invited to a wedding in Orlando and I was from out of town, I would probably fly in the day before in the morning and like go to the theme parks and then go to the wedding the next day and then fly home the day after that. Like I would I would probably try to like make it so I could go to the theme park. I wouldn't want to go to the rehearsal dinner. I would I would try and bail on that. Like I wouldn't that's I wouldn't want to do that, you know? <laughs> if I wasn't like having to go, I wouldn't want I would want to go to the theme parks instead if I was coming down to Orlando. So um but yeah, I mean, I get it though, Lucy, like with the wedding stuff, the number goes up so high so quickly because it's like all of my cousins are older than me they're all married some of them have kids so all of a sudden my nine cousins is 18 cousins because <laughs> they all have a partner plus they some of them have kids so now we're at like 20 something just in cousins then we've got all my aunts and uncles dan has a million cousins so it's like all of his cousins like all of a sudden the number goes up real quick <laughs> you know um when you're making the guest list for the for the wedding um but anyway, some people have a lot more cousins than that. I don't even have that many, but um, it's kind of interesting to think about, I guess. Would you like to get some food, miss? Go for it. Um, with cousins and their kids, it's 58 people alone. Yeah, see? Like, you're, it adds up so fast. Um, if you don't have that much extended family, it doesn't really add up as much. And you might not be close to your extended family either, but um, I don't know. It's interesting. You have so many cousins you couldn't give me a number, really? <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I don't, I'd be curious to know how much of Dan's family ends up coming to the wedding because they live so far away. Dan's family is from the UK, um, so it's not like an easy trek for them. Um, so I anticipate that a lot of them won't be able to come. So I don't think it's gonna be that big, but um, it's not until next year. The wedding is next year. I'm being intentionally vague about date and location, if that's okay with you all. <laughs> Just because, uh, my worst nightmare is the date and location leaking, I think. <laughs> so I'm being a little bit, um, quiet about it. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully that's okay. We'll talk about it afterward, but it's not until next year. It's not happening anytime soon. Um, okay. You use the bathroom and then I want you to go work on our thingies. I had her like, I had the, the jewelry picked out and then she didn't do it because she was asleep. So we'll do it now. Um, oh yeah, I totally get that too. Um, yeah, people, I think that people in the US are a lot more accustomed to traveling for weddings. Like my, cause my cousins live so spread out. Um, like my, I've got cousins in Oregon, I've got cousins in Washington, DC, I've got cousins in Virginia, I've got cousins in South Carolina, like, um, I've got, they're so spread out that like, I've had to go to weddings all the way on the West Coast a bunch. 
um, already for theirs. I think people are just more accustomed to it here because they're so far away, just as it is. Um, but, oh, really, Tonya? That's so sweet. I love that. Um, yeah, me and Dan's actual wedding was really small. Even my brother didn't come because he had an exam. <laughs> So we had to go to school. He couldn't come to our ceremony at the courthouse, but I didn't care about that. Um, I wasn't. We celebrated at home afterward, you know. But it was it was literally my dad, my mom, and my sister. And then we like had them filming it so we could send the video to Dan's parents. But it was because it was COVID and like um, it just yeah it was a weird time. <laughs> um, but my brother wasn't even there, so. That's still so funny to you. Yeah, I don't think any, I didn't care. I don't think he cared either. Um, it was, the whole thing was just, I don't know. It was, it was cute, but it wasn't like the, I don't think that the ceremony itself was that meaningful to me, which maybe is like not um, smart of me because it's a big deal signing the papers and stuff. But I don't know. I, it wasn't that like meaningful to me. The paper signing at the courthouse. <laughs> It was, it, nothing changed aside from, like, we signed the papers and, you know. <laughs> so I, I didn't really mind that much, but um, some people do, so. Didn't care. Yeah, see, it, it's a weird one. Yeah, and also, like, I guess the the bigger deal for us was, like, the, the visa process. Like, um, it was more meaningful to me, I think, because at the time he had just been able to move here after this like couple years long visa process and us not seeing each other for a long time because of COVID. So like the bigger deal was that he was finally here, you know? And we knew we were gonna have to do all this, this stuff for so long that like it was just, you know, a day that we signed the paper. Um, but I, I don't know. That's probably a weird way of looking at it. <laughs> um, do I like these earrings? Not really that much. Let's make something else. <laughs> what else can we do? Um, maybe like, um, how about a pretty necklace? Make it gold with the emerald. See how that looks. Um, you and your husband got married in a chapel in Gatlinburg. The officiant talked like a used car salesman. <laughs> I love that, that's so funny. I, that's a story though. The I found it really the it was awkward for me during our ceremony because because of COVID, they had like a room that was where they had the wedding ceremonies at the courthouse. But the officiant um, stood in the doorway with like the door kind of cracked. She had like one foot out the door. She wanted out of there <laughs> because of, I, I mean like I think it was a COVID precaution. Uh oh, tofu's, tofu's running away. Um, but she was like standing halfway out the door. Like it was just kind of weird. The whole thing was so weird. <laughs> um, I'll have to put up a thingy for tofu. Sorry about that, friends. Um, anyway. <laughs> it was time for a lunch break, maybe. I think it was the morning. I forget what time of day it was. I can't remember. Um, okay. Moss, you didn't finish sleeping. Oh, I've been too distracted talking about weddings. Uh-oh. <laughs> Madam Ash, thank you for the subs. Welcome back, Ash, by the way. It's good to see you. No, you can't be gloomy. Bad. I need to bathe this one. Can you even get downstairs or should I teleport you? Maybe I'll just teleport her again and then I'll have her work on stuff this afternoon. Give a bubble bath to Jort, please. And we'll start there. Um... Okay. Am I inviting the officiate to your wedding? <laughs> the person from the courthouse? I can't remember her. So probably not. But it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, are you gonna- Oh, you're going to work. Oh, dear. Oh, we never bathed the child. You have work too. Oh, dear. Well- I guess the kids will be fine with the babysitter. That gives me some freedom for the day. I like that. I like that. <laughs> You're sweating profusely, worrying that you should have invited yours. <laughs> no, it's fine. There's so much weird etiquette about weddings, huh? Oh my. 
I get myself quite anxious about the wedding guest list and like people getting offended about like, I don't know. I just stress about it. But at the end of the day, it's a very small thing. Like it's not, we didn't invite that many people, you know? So, oh my God, we're not getting fired from our job. So hopefully people understand, but I get it. I keep like overthinking and getting anxious about that too. I like you. The male person has purple hair. And our bills are too expensive, we can't pay them. <laughs> uh oh. I can't. I'm not even gonna read that. I'm ignoring that. You leave me out of this. <sighs> Yikes. Yeah, wedding etiquette is different across different parts of the world and different parts of the US, even. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, some of my simmer friends are invited. Um, but this is where I, this is where it gets awkward because it's like it's only small. <laughs> um, but I invited a lot of our friends, yeah. But it's still only small, so I just get nervous, you know. <laughs> Worst case scenario is someone is like mean to me about it, but I don't think they would be. Like that would be so weird, right? I don't know. Okay, we have work until five p.m. So after that, we'll feed the cow plants. Hopefully, they don't die before then. I can't believe you didn't invite the whole Sims community. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. I don't think that people would be mean about it. I would never dare be mean to someone about it. Like, that's just wild. But I don't know, I just get anxious. You know? But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Your wedding was over 150 people, most of it was family. Yeah, that's a lot of people. That happens though, people have such big families. And then, I don't, I didn't really have this because my mom's not like this, but my mom talks about how at her wedding, um, it wasn't even her mom, it was my dad's mom um, that was that was being like this. But it was like, oh, I went to so-and-so's kid's wedding, so you have to invite them to yours. And it was like, I don't even know them. It's like, it was like her mother-in-law's friends, but my, my grandma has, so many friends. Um, so she had to invite all these people <laughs> um, to like appease everybody. And my mom talks about how stressful that was. And then they had, their venue had like a, a limit of how many people could be there. I forget how many it was. Um, but it was like difficult to do the guest list because they had like to invite all these people. But then it was like, how do you balance? Yeah, huge yikes. I would hate that. Um, but I didn't have to do that. <laughs> I didn't have to invite strangers like that. <laughs> um, okay, so Moss, you are officially home. The children somehow did not get bathed when they were at daycare, which is just infuriating. Um, you're gonna need a bath in a minute too, so I might bring you downstairs. I'm sorry to keep teleporting them, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I just do that? Oh, Kayla, you're very, very stupid. You can't afford that. What is that? Grilled cheese ready to eat. Oh. Maybe I'll sell the earrings we made to get a little bit of extra money. And this. Do you want to come take care of all of these? <laughs> we can get some money from this stuff, too. Oh, my. Oh, my. We could sell some potions, too, but we'll be fine. We have- Oh, look at how many plants we have already. Oh. Oh. I'll keep some of these things for, in case we need to cook with them, but yeah, that's fine. I forgot we went to Salvadorana on vacation. That's why we have the grilled cheese ready to eat. It's because we used it for our trip. <laughs> but I forgot about that. I just saw like the lump of things in my inventory and I was like, what is that? But we're fine. Um, okay, Alphaba, as soon as you're done taking care of those, you can come feed the cow plants. And I'll finish bathing each of the kids, too. Been thinking of a destination wedding? Ooh, where would you do it to? What would be your choice? I'm fascinated. I like hearing about people's plans. I'm, like, I find the whole discussion of what people do at weddings to be so interesting right now. <laughs> um... You considered eloping in Iceland? Oh, that's so cool. That's really cool. You should. I think the sim is glitched. Also, my hair, I think it's still blue. It just looks a little bit darker than that. I'm gonna reset you, cause I, 
I think that you're fine. It was just messed up somehow. You want to elope in Disneyland? <gasps> Disneyland! <gasps> the worst of the two Disneys in the US? <laughs> A lot of people get married at Disney. It's interesting. Um, it's funny for me as like a local, I have such little interest in that, but I know for a lot of people it's like so cool, <laughs> you know? Um, but what's the difference? Cause you can't tell. Disney lands in California, Disney World's in Orlando. Disney World is significantly bigger, but Disneyland was the first one. Um, so people have a, emotional attachment to it because it's the first one. But Disney World has four parks. Disneyland has two. You know. Um, your cousin's having a destination wedding in Mexico this summer, but not all of the cousins were invited. Your parents were invited, but just you and your siblings weren't and the other cousins were? What? Yeah, see, that's weird when they leave out specifically just a couple of the cousins, like, especially if you think that, like, you are close with them. Yeah, I can't imagine leaving out just, like, a couple of my cousins. That would be, I would get in trouble if I did that. <laughs> I would get in trouble. I would not be allowed to do that. In total, there are eight cousins. <gasps> and they left out some of you? That's bad. And three aren't invited? Oh, no. That is drama. Yikes. Wow. <laughs> well, I mean, you probably wouldn't want to go anyway. My friend Hope, oh, Slime wants me to go to his house. My sibling's a teen. Oh, I have to go, don't I? Oh, you have to accept all invitations in this generation. Um, but yeah, Hope went to a destination wedding in Mexico this summer and it was unbearably hot. So, I don't know. <laughs> That's why you cannot do things in the summertime here either. You know what's funny about this um, is that uh, we're, our wedding is next winter, like early next year. And um, people in my chat were like, oh, that's a good idea. Like, you'll save some money doing it that way. And, and I had to be like, actually, <laughs> the pricing is opposite. Um, the, the winter is more expensive and the summer is cheaper in, in Florida with, with booking venues and stuff <laughs> because nobody wants to get married in the summer in Florida. It's a million degrees outside and it's hurricane season. Like you don't want that. <laughs> that would be really bad, <laughs> but nobody wants to have a summer wedding here. He, I mean, people do obviously, but it's like less preferable because of the heat and the weather. So. I would never want to do that. Um, but it is funny how it's opposite. Like in other places, the summer is cheaper. Summer, the summer is more expensive and the winter is cheaper because more people in other places want to have weddings in the summertime. Um, joke about politicians. Okay. Well, while you're here, I guess you could use their bathroom. Look at our little alien sibling. That's so fun! He's a teen now. I guess we could talk to our dad while we're here. If you're new to the channel, um, we have two younger siblings, Pesto and Slime. Ugh, that's Polly. Our dad, this is our stupid dad, he cheated on our mom with an alien and got her pregnant, or no, she got him pregnant twice and we didn't know um, and we our heart was broken because of that and then our, our mom died of rage because she was so distraught about, oh, hi, Kayla! <laughs> I was just telling Chad about how my, um, our loser dad cheated on our mom with an alien um, and then she died because she was so upset about it. Welcome in! <laughs> uh, we're here visiting our alien younger siblings. So there's that. Are you about to sleep at their house? What is wrong with you? Autonomously getting in the bed at your dad's house? I'm surprised you're not getting in trouble for that. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna go back home now. I've had enough of this. <laughs> I've had enough. Cindy, thank you for the 25 months. Um, and we'll head back out to Henford on Bagley where I live now. That is the plan. Okay. 
I can show you all the uh, other sims that we have to chat, the ones who just came here from the raid. And if you're from my stream and you don't follow my friend Kayla, um, I'm sure that she's gone, she probably left to go eat dinner. <laughs> but if you don't follow my friend Kayla on Twitch, um, you absolutely should. Kayla is a very dear friend of mine. Um, and a fantastic sim streamer and you would love her so and you already like one person named kayla so my thought is you may as well follow another one you know <laughs> steph thank you for the 10 months i really appreciate that um no alphaba didn't die moss's mom died alphaba is moss's wife so all right let's have you just head to bed then i guess this was a rough day for us i must say We've kind of been going through it today. Are you able to get up the stairs yet or do you still not have enough movement? Maybe I'll have you work on your movement skill. Just a bit more. Maybe I could also buy some like music and have the other one work on dancing or something. Did the cow plants get fed? Oh, I thought they did, but maybe they didn't before we left. I'll have to check that. Um, We'll have to see. No, they did not. Well, that's bad. <laughs> well, that can't be good. <laughs> we have talked a little bit about our plans for Among Us. Um, we don't have any particular specific days uh, written down just yet, but we have been making plans. I guess you could say. We've been discussing some options. Um, it always takes a while to figure out what day works for everybody when we play Among Us because there's- Oh my god, you're stuck! Because there's so many people that we play Among Us with. It's like, how do you find a time that works for all of those people? But um, we're going to play with the mods again, I think, this time around, too. Softcore, thanks for the three months! Um, okay. All right, you can now climb stairs, Denim. I am very proud of you. You can officially get upstairs yourself. Are you there yet? No. This one's gotta stay up longer. <laughs> How pregnant are you, by the way? Third trimester in three hours. Okay. Keep bobbing to the music till you get your skill up. You're so lost at times. Yeah, that's normal though, Tylina. If it makes you feel any better, like, we were lost playing Among Us too, you know? Um, it's not just you. <laughs> it was- the mod is new to us. Um, the mod is new to everybody. So, um, it's- it's absolutely not just you who felt lost during that stream. I think the point was that everybody was feeling kind of lost during it. Um, and we had to- you have to do it once so you can learn. So it's not just you. Um, the beauty of it is that we're all in this together. Um... You're missing that Bluetooth speaker from your pack. Oh, this one? That's because it was an early purchase item. It was like early bonus content from the high school years pack, I believe. I should make it green. Um, who's the mopping werewolf? Um, I don't know where they went, but I've killed a couple werewolves in my day. So, oh God, I need to go to sleep. Yikes, 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 go to bed. Everyone sleep, everyone sleep. Yeah, that that would be Jacob. Um, I think I didn't kill that Sim, I think I just, whoa! Oh, that's why you all keep saying Peppa. Oh my God, I was like, why is everybody talking about Peppa so much? I didn't see her until just then, that genuinely scared me. Wow, okay, that's, that's Peppa. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just talking about Peppa for fun. I didn't know she was there. Um, yeah, we, we collect graves, so we have a lot of graves that we've just found out and about. Jacobs would be one of them, I think. Oh, I should save the game, too. We'll do that. Peppa jump scare, classic. Wow. Oh my, we should be in our third trimester now. We just got family leave. So that means that we are close to having the next baby. So that'll be kind of fun too. Um, this cat's, that's Pulp? What, are you still stinky, Pulp? Maybe I could have Moss give you a bath right now. 
Moss is always bathing pulp. What are jorts? Jorts are jean shorts. Jorts is like a funny word for uh, jean shorts. And it's funny because we have a kid named Denim and a kid named Jorts. Jort singular, sorry. <laughs> it's short for jean shorts though, um, which makes more sense. And then it's, we got like a jeans theme with these two, the twins. All right. I am bathing Peppa. And then we shall go to sleep. Um, Pulp is technically a puggle, except Pulp feels like... I don't know how to say this, but Pulp feels like an alien, is what I was gonna say. I didn't mean to get that close. Um, Pulp, fe <laughs> Pulp feels like an alien, at times. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I think Pulp has transcended the, like, dog breed thing, though. So. Yeah, look, the dino suit still being on for the bath is really funny. I mean, I guess the dino suit is dirty, too, so we had to bathe them both. Um. So there's that. Oh! Simmers! Huge drag race news. Get this. Last night, a mandatory meeting streamed The Sims 4. Um, and I think she was at Dawn's house using Dawn's computer. Dawn has all kinds of Sims packs, including my first pet stuff, which made me laugh when I saw that. When I saw the rat in the house, I was like, no, there's no way. <laughs> um, but apparently Dawn has like 1300 hours in the Sims 4. So one of us, one of us. <laughs> I think that's kind of exciting. I thought you would like that. Um, I always love hearing about, like, celebrities being simmers. It makes me feel really excited. <laughs> um, so that was fun for me to, to learn that last night and watch for a little bit. <laughs> I, I have a hard time watching people like that play The Sims because I have to resist the urge to, like, uh, be helpful so bad. Like, like, not- because it's not helpful, it's just annoying. But when they ask a question, and it's like a rhetorical question, they're actually trying to get an answer, and they're not even looking at chat, the urge for me to be like, oh, this is how it works. Shut up, Kayla, they're not asking. They don't actually want to know. But I- I have to, like, really hold it in so bad. <laughs> so I- I cannot be a backseater, I won't be a backseater. But it's- you really gotta hold it in when you're, uh, watching them, you know? <laughs> Because <laughs> they, like, they ask a question and it's just like, oh, I know how to help you, but <laughs> you don't want me to. <laughs> I'll be so annoying if I start answering the questions like that. Um, yeah, it's hard to watch people that don't um, play The Sims as obsessively as perhaps you or I, you know? <sighs> so... <laughs> Okay, let me grab some food then, though. Is this... I'm not spoiled yet. I might actually have Alphaba take a, a family leave today. I probably shouldn't, but I might anyway. Because it might be nice for us to uh, stay home with the kids. You watching Dan and Phil play the same? Oh yeah, I can't watch that. I can't watch that. It's fun. It's just a different kind of Sims content, you know? Um, it's a it's a different sort of Sims gameplay, um, which is fun, but just not necessarily what, what you are looking for all the time, you know? Because um, you might be looking for more like serious gameplay and stuff like that, but... Um, Seeing Dan and Phil play a Mount Comer felt like a crossover episode. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, anyway, it's kind of fun to watch people do it, though. It's always just exciting when celebrities are interested in The Sims. It feels like a win for The Sims community. I know that The Sims is not that niche, okay? The Sims community, in the grand scheme of things, is also not that niche. But, like, compared to a lot of other games, and, like, other gaming communities online, it kind of is. 
You know, like, everybody makes Minecraft content. Not everybody plays The Sims and makes Sims content. So anytime, like, somebody plays The Sims, it's like, oh my god, <laughs> they're playing Sims. Um, and it's fun for us, I think, when that happens with famous people or, like, other big content creators that aren't involved, you know? <laughs> okay, so... Off to work for you, Moss. You've got all the skills that you need. You should get promoted today, which is good, because we need a little bit more money. Um, you also could get promoted today, but I'm gonna have you weed and harvest everything. We'll see if it actually works when I try and weed them. I might have to cheat the weeds away, but everything's got weeds, so that's annoying. What on earth? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to cheat the weeds away. This is a known bug right now. Oh, wrong button. There's a known bug where, like, the weeding doesn't work. Um, oh. Well, that cheated one of my things away. So... We're off to a bad start. Um... This bug is so annoying. It's the problem with this is, right? It makes it, gardening is always, oh my God. I'm gonna cheat all them back, don't worry. Gardening is always kind of glitchy, but this new one is really bad. Look, you can't even harvest my things. Are they are they getting rid of my stuff? But I, like, should I harvest first and then do it? That's so annoying. Gardening state, weeds, mulched. But you actually can't weed anything because it doesn't work. <sighs> okay. Just a couple more. Weeds mulched. Weeds mulched. Okay. And then I have to put these all back because they like shrunk down to the ground and they were grown before. You know what's interesting? Mulch very similar energy to pulp obviously similar words but just the the vibes of that kind of word very similar energy yeah it's funny how that happens potato how like we don't all have the same bugs like you don't have the weed one but i do and you have the plants shrinking it's, it's just weird how that happens um all right you're gonna need a shower and you're gonna need to or a bath, I guess, then you need to eat, but I'll let you talk to this thing for a little bit longer. You're gonna have to go back to sleep. It might be best for you to sleep a little bit uh, longer because the kid's gonna be born tonight. So it's probably good for us to be prepared. I don't know. Um, Aaron, thank you for the 24 month resub. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll just keep talking to this till we get a bunch of skills, I guess. Thought the rug in the bathroom was water on the floor. Oh, this one? Yeah, I can see that. I can see why you would think that. That's really funny, actually. Um, we do have the spellcaster spell. That's true. I don't really use it. I've not been using our spells much at all. But look, we could scrub a -roo everything. I don't know why I've been, like, not having her. I just replaced this instead of, um... Look, it's gone. She's got magic powers. She's so good at that. Come repair this too. Fix it. Okay, she just does it from all the way over there, but that's fine. You wanna repair this one too? I probably shouldn't because um, then it's gonna start a fire again, but. Thank you. Okay. Um, what next? Wow, you can do so much. Uh, do you know where the flooring is in the build catalog? Are you talking about this one? This is from Cottage Living. This one is from the castle kit. If you mean this one. Um, so hopefully that helps. What if we duplicated pulp? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know about that. Let me go back and work on my jewelry a bit more because I liked my delicate necklace. We'll try and get that ready so we can wear it. 
That'll be pretty. Highland, J2O, thank you for the subs. Pulp is hungry. Well, then eat. Food's right there. That's on you. Okay, let me get one of the, um, make one jewelry and duplicate and sell. Oh, that's not a bad idea to make money, actually. You might be onto something there. Okay, I was gonna have you play with this. I'll, I'll get your mom to make you some more food in a minute, but I'll let you two both play for a little bit longer. No. Until she finishes it. Um, yeah, the duplicate one is for Sims and the copy one is for items, right? Oh, Tofu returned. That's good. Real quick, I'm just gonna make you happy so you don't do that again, okay? Thank you. You can repair your jewelry to increase its quality as well. Oh, really? Oh. Wait, so this is normal quality. Excellent quality. Oh my God. Wait, that's kind of iconic. Now she's got a pretty necklace on that she made. That's so cool. Oh wow, okay, that's a really good pro tip actually. If you're playing with a spellcaster and you're you're using the jewelry pack. Spellcasters are so good to have around. They can do so much. Yeah, you can do that with most stuff, um, with the paintings too, I guess. I just hadn't really thought about it with the jewelry. Um, so that's good to know. That is really good to know. Oh, we haven't, I guess I haven't been checking Plopsy. I can look again. Um, see if there's any jewelry on Plopsy right now. No, not jewelry today. I still don't know if you can buy jewelry on Plopsy, but the thing is you can buy a lot of stuff. Like we've got paintings, that's base game. You got cross stitch, that's cottage living. We got plants, that's from Nifty Knitting. Candles from Eco Lifestyle. Like there's so many crafty things that can be sold on Plopsy that I'm not really surprised that we haven't seen I'm gonna get a cross stitch hoop that we haven't seen any jewelry yet because I haven't been checking that much. Um, but you can sell jewelry on Plopsy, so I feel like I would expect that you could buy jewelry on Plopsy too. And we're just getting unlucky and we haven't seen any in the shop, but I, I really haven't checked that much. So it's not that surprising. Um, but like they even have potions on Plopsy sometimes. There's just such a huge range of the kind of stuff that can be sold on there, so. Plopsy comes from Nifty Knitting. <laughs> nice job, Moss. You are officially level eight of your career. You need to get your programming and your charisma skill up. You also wanna make a video game or an app. So I might have you come work on that as our plan for the rest of the day. Let's keep making our mobile app. Will that get our fun up? Cause we like programming, right? Um, you heard you can't, someone tried for 24 hours and didn't find, oh really? Maybe you can't, I don't know. Um, not this again. Go away. Oh God. Okay, you're gonna need a bath and some food, but I can take care of that. What's that desktop from, or is it CC? This one's from high school years. Uh, I don't have any build CC. So that's just high school years. Okay, I'm letting Elphaba sleep a little bit longer because she's gonna give birth probably tomorrow. Um, or now. I just noticed it flashing and I was like, or maybe right now. <laughs> okay, well that's a good thing that we did that then. <laughs> Let me, oh I can't save because we're in labor, oh God. Okay, well, here we go. No crashing uh, because we can't save yet. <laughs> yikes, yikes, yikes. Solid thanks for two months. Um, do I think I'll ever use cast CC? I've got a couple of things. These toddler hairs are cast CC. But I don't really use custom content outside of that so much. Um, okay, so we're gonna need some name suggestions. Um, obviously we have Jort and Denim. I don't, it doesn't have to be a Jean theme. Like it doesn't have to be named Jean. It could be something else. Um, there was talk about uh, like, like suburb, <laughs> um, like blue suburban. Um, 
there was talk about just naming it Bluey. I don't really love Bluey because it's too similar to my previous Legacy era in my YouTube series called Blue. Um, Smurf was an option that came up. Um, I kind of liked Smurf. Um, but I don't know what people think about that. <laughs> I think Smurf is kind of hilarious. There's also Sully, like from Monsters, Inc., which was an idea that we had. People said things like Blueberry. Um, I don't know. But there's levels to it. Um, Sapphire is like an obvious one. I do honestly think that Smurf is kind of hilarious. There was talk of Megamind as well. Let me make a poll. Hold on. I'll allow chat to name this baby because I don't care that much. Um, what to name the baby? Smurf? Megamind? What were the other options? Jean? Sully? Um, and suburb Suburban? Suburb? I don't know yet. We'll figure that out too. I'm making a poll. You can vote. I can't believe I put Megamind on the poll. <laughs> Uh-oh. I kind of like Smurf, personally, but I'll leave it up to you. I'll leave it up to you. Just remember that we're gonna have to answer for our crimes. If we, if we end up naming it something extremely chaotic, everybody's gonna come into chat and be like, what did you name the baby? Why did you call it that? But we have a poll, so let's pick from here. It's actually extremely close. So make your voice heard because 32% say Smurf and 31% say Megamind. Now it's 33% on Smurf. It's very close though. It's like 40 votes. So it's, uh, this is iffy. We might end up with Megamind if you're not careful. <laughs> Please vote. <laughs> and I think this is also a good time to stress the importance of voting in real life as well. Um, but this too. Smurf. Smurf. You know what? I will say this. Smurf and Jort have very similar energy. You know? Everybody's upset now because it was so close. It was like 33% and then 31% or something. Um... Should we- you didn't vote in time? Oh my god. I think we have to commit to Smurf. I liked Smurf best too. Right? People used to call me Smurfette in middle school to tease me. Oh my god, are we- are we bullying Bruin right now by accident? Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bru. But this kid's called Smurf, not Smurfette. I did it. Oh my god, Smurf is green. That's not right. That's just not right. I love the word Smurf. What a fun word. That just is so strange, you know? <laughs> and they're a spellcaster. So we've got two spellcaster babies in this house now. I'll make them blue once we uh, get them aged up a little bit more. Don't worry. Um... The motive trials? No. Absolutely not. You were called Smurfette in high school too? I always found Smurf to be- Smurfs to be kind of scary, I think. I don't know. Did anybody else? Don't we have to say yes? Wait, what was that call for? For the motive trial- Oh. No, I don't think that the mo- I guess the motive trials do count as a social outing. Oh, I didn't really think about that. Um, I'm Lil Simsy. I make the rules of the Not So Berry Challenge, and the motive trials don't count as a social outing. Everything else does, the motive trials don't. And I'm Lil Simsy. I wrote the challenge. Where are the rules? They're on Lil Simsy's Tumblr page, so she gets to decide. <laughs> I make the rules and I think this is the motive trials don't count. That's a rabbit hole, not so much an outing. When I wrote it, I was intending social outings like when you're invited to the bar or like invited to the park or whatever. Um, so, I don't know. 
You can't go with your sim, so... Uh-oh, I killed my sharks by accident. I can't afford to put him back, so I'll have to wait on that. That's my bad. Um, okay. Do four rent houses count as partners for the challenge? Oh yeah, totally. I think that's fun. Absolutely. Do it. Um, do it. Please feed the cow plant. Is it hungry again? Oh my god. Hurry up. Oh, really, Brew? That's awesome news. That's really good news. I'm glad to hear it. Um, I can sell those toys, too. Gets us a little bit of extra money. And then perhaps you could come watch some TV. I don't know. Oh, although the kids are going to need to be bathed and stuff. Smurf can be balls? Oh, yeah, probably. I love the name Smurf. Honestly, I, I, like, it's one of those things that, as a word, it does not make sense as a human name. But it's kind of pretty. It's like Murphy, you know? It's a nice name, but it's Smurf. Similar energy. But, I think it's good. I was called Smurfette because I was blonde and short and wore a lot of blue. I'm sorry that happened to you, Bruin. I'm sorry. People, kids are weird. In the grand scheme of things, Smurfette isn't the worst thing to be called. Like, she's kind of cute. I know that that doesn't help because it still is hurtful to be called a name. But, like, they weren't very good at insulting you. You know? Like, that's not a bad one. Like, come up with something better. Right? Like, okay, I'm a cute little smurf. Like, yeah, and? But their intentions are mean, so therefore it's mean, you know? Anyway, smurfette's cute. That's a win, I say. <laughs> I used to get called an elf. But I kind of liked it. They didn't mean it in a, in a nice way, but I kind of liked it. Because I thought elves were cute. Yeah, I think it's because of my ears. I don't, I don't think I have elf ears that bad, at, or at all, but they used to call me an elf. I don't know. It's what they said in middle school, so <laughs> nothing to say if they're correct or not, but I did get, get uh, called an elf when I was young. So. <laughs> I like them, though. You got called a shark. Oh, Christine, I'm really sorry. That is, that is mean. Kids are mean. I used to get made, of, made fun of for my nose a lot, and I still get made fun of for my nose. <laughs> That's the one thing I can't escape. The, the, the internet still is gonna internet, so... Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that though, that really stinks. Okay. You... Oh, we're bathing a kid, that's good. Um, well, I'll try and be fast, because my sim's getting tired. Um, you were called Brew and then ran with that one? It's a cool name! I like it. Oh, Rowan, I had the same experience. When I was in elementary school, I was so clueless, I had no idea those kids were making fun of me. I think that's a good thing. In, in elementary school, I was so clueless, I really did not understand that. I was so gullible. And they were so mean to me. And I look back on things they said and I'm like, wow, that's actually like not okay. <laughs> but I didn't really, I didn't clock it when I was like seven. So that's good. Cause I was able to like understand it better when I was older and then process it better, you know? Cause a lot of the things they did to me that were mean, I didn't really understand. I, there were girls in my Girl Scout troop that were so mean to me. They would tell me all, I was so gullible. They would tell me all kinds of lies and I would like be like, oh my God. And then like believe them and then like repeat it to people. And then they would laugh in my face because I believed it. But I'd be like, wow, so-and-so, did you know this happened to them? And then they would like laugh at me. <laughs> and I would just, I didn't, I didn't understand. I thought we were laughing because it was funny, but they were telling me lies and I didn't know. Isn't that embarrassing? It's okay though. I'm not as bad anymore. <laughs> I am still kind of gullible. Um, sometimes like jokes fly over my head when people tell them to me, but it's okay. <laughs> it's, 
It's okay. I'm just... The thing is, being gullible isn't a terrible trait. You're just trusting. I believe people. <laughs> but, yeah. I was, uh, I was very bad with that, I guess. Um, but I don't think that's a terrible trait. Oh, yeah, Brew, I'm sorry I did that to you. That was messed up. But, anyway. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> go to bed. You have a good deadpan? Yeah. Yeah. Did I ever try opening a jar with my other hand? No, I didn't. I can try and open my, my water, though. Oh, God. We were talking the other day about how um, people that are right-handed open jars with their left hand because um, they can hold better with their right hand. And I can't, I don't think I can do that. I, I'm trying to open this right now and I, <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can't do it with my left hand. I can't with my left hand. It doesn't work. I can do it with my right hand, but I left. Oh, I got it. Only because I loosened it. Anyway. I always do, I open it with my right hand and hold it with my left hand, but people in, that was a horrible noise. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Um, but we were talking about it because we were discussing people being like ambidextrous and stuff, but You can't open jars at all. Yeah, that's half the problem It's like it's not so much just like a which hand is which problem. It's also just I can't open jars But I, I would open it with my right hand and hold it with my left hand so oh I should save oh my god yikes Yikes Okay, well, at least we didn't have a crashing problem. So that's good. What names of the blue gen? Um, they're Denim, Jort, and Smurf. Sometimes when I have to say these things out loud to people, it makes me feel a little bit embarrassed. But it's okay, they're cool names. <laughs> They're cool names. I honestly think that Denim is a really good name. Like, I I um prefer the names of Jort and Smurf because they're funnier, but I honestly believe that Denim is, like, a really cool name. Like, Denim is a real name in my book. Oh, do you want to repair this? Oh, do I not have the repair? Do I not have the repair spell? <gasps> That's horrible. How? How? You like Jort as a non-native English speaker? I think Jort is a hilarious sounding word. Jort is fantastic for that. I thought I used it on the, oh wait, I did use it on the jewelry. Oh, maybe I just couldn't because the ghost was already repairing it. Maybe because the ghost was there, I couldn't do it. That would make sense to me. Um. You're set on Jort being the heir? Oh, I love Jort as the heir. I love Jort as the heir. I'm into that too. And that's my plan. Um, wait, your sims used to get uncomfortable in your kitchen and you'd be looking for a dirty plate somewhere. And then you discover the thing making them uncomfortable was a poor quality fish in a tank. Wait, there was a poor quality fish in the tank and that was making your sims uncomfortable in the house? No way. Wow, that's, I guess that makes sense. That kind of explains a lot of the issues that I've had before that I've been like uncomfortable and I can't figure out the problem. So that makes sense to me. Well, now we know. <laughs> it would take you forever to figure that out. Huh, well, thank you for sharing with us. That is helpful. Oh my god, the kids are like, the parents are like nonstop waking up because of the baby crying. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh my god, it's crying again. What, I, we can't escape it. Okay, baby care, change dirty diaper. 
Would you also like to put it in a cuter outfit? Maybe you put it in like the... I don't know, I've used a lot of these outfits already, but maybe I'll do the frozen bunny one again. Cute! It's blue. Are the kids blue for fun? Um, they're- so people keep asking if they're aliens. Their mom is a green spellcaster. So, um, the, they were born green like this baby and I changed them to blue because they're the blue gen of Not So Berry. Um, but they're- they just have spellcaster genes in them. In- in my mind, and this is maybe a little bit too much of a deep cut. Oh god, what could that be? Hold on. Oh god! Lincoln died and we never repaired our relationship with him. I think that was probably of old age. Well, I mean, he killed our mother by cheating on her. She got so angry that she died, so he deserved it. And we did see him like yesterday or something. Yeah, that was the cheating dad, so he deserved it. <laughs> Mo, thank you for the gifted subs. <laughs> Squish and Tiny and Apple and Max, thank you for the resubs too. Well, I have to go pick up my grave then. I'm gonna let, um, oh, we don't have work today. Oh, we can go get it now then, because we can sleep in. That's fine. We have to get his grave. I wanted to wait until the morning, but. Oh yeah, our relationship was always in the green. I just didn't speak to him for a long time in in uh, the end of our his life. But I, I think that makes sense though, because I think that Moss, would have had love for him still. Like, it must have been a very complicated emotion. Because, like, his actions did cause our mom to die. But also, he didn't kill our mom. But also, he cheated on our mom and had two alien babies and then left to go raise them instead of us. But also, we didn't want him around. So it's just, I don't know. I think that they had a very complicated relationship with each other. And that makes sense. But anyway, the deep cut thing that I was going to explain um, is with the, about the green skin. Um, in my mind, in- oh look at this! I built this before we had shutter detailing. So I tried to make fake shutters, that's so funny. Um, I, uh, I think that in this- oh he died on Christmas, wow. I think that in this, people just are green in this universe. Like, people just are green sometimes, they're just blue sometimes, like even without special reasoning like being in a cult they just are green they just are blue and that was the story that we told as to why like when princess and lincoln were together lincoln's our dad who just died princess was our mom when they were together they had three kids and then he got pregnant and it's like well how would she not know but in this universe sims get pregnant like anybody can be pregnant anytime so I don't think that she would have thought it was weird that he was pregnant it just happens like anybody can get pregnant and also when the kids popped out and were green it it was like how would she not know but my thought is there just are green people in the world and she has aliens like back in her family a few gens back but there are aliens in her family and like in this universe the next gen is always a color theme like our other kids are green, they didn't have green skin, they had green hair, but like, it's not too far-fetched to think that like, you know, this sim could be your child if you have a gr other green kids. So that's why, like, it was so shocking when it found out actually Lincoln was cheating on us, because it's not strange that we would have had green kids or that he would have had a pregnancy, you know? Anyway, then she died, because <laughs> she was so upset about Lincoln cheating on her. Um, yeah, no, Pesto wasn't an alien. We have two younger siblings. Oh, Pesto's a teen now. Um, so this is our younger brother, Pesto. His mom's an alien and his dad was Lincoln. He looks just like Lincoln. And then that's our alien brother. But this one turned out human. We should get to know Pesto. Merry Christmas! Sorry your dad died. I actually like his hair and his outfit to be honest. This is our cousin. I can show you the family tree quickly so it's less confusing. Um, but so here's our mom. Um, obviously she had three kids. That's us. Um, that was our dad. He had two kids with someone else. Um, so that's kind of that situation. 
And if you look here, um, Princess, her brother was Georgia. His kid was Samantha. So this girl's our cousin. And that was our, that's our aunt, because she was married to our uncle, but he's dead too. So, anyway. <laughs> that's who lives here. That's the situation. Um, do you want a Winterfest gift? Um, I have a jungle machete. I'm gonna give it to him. Merry Christmas, brother! <laughs> Look at the knife! You can see him thinking about it! Why is that so funny to me? Um, okay. Do I have enough enemies for the challenge? No, we're still working on that. We're still working on all of the stuff um, in this gen, all the skills and enemy things. We got time. We've got time. Um, we are enemies with Polly. I don't know where she went. Oh yeah, she's asleep. But we have time to like get through all of the rules of the challenge and stuff. Um, yeah, they have a purple cat, yeah. We think it's like an alien cat. That's why it's purple. Okay, back home. We're gonna work on becoming enemies with our ex-boyfriend Oscar too. But we haven't gotten there yet. Isn't Pulp an alien too? Yeah, that's the story that we've been trying to tell is that Pulp is also an alien. That's kinda that's kinda out there too. When I start when I start explaining the lore of this to people on stream, I start to get a little bit embarrassed when I'm like talking about you know the dog's an alien, the dog was related to pollination. Don't, just don't worry about it. It's very complicated and it doesn't make any sense and we just got a little bit too into it. So, yeah, we think that Pulp is distant cousins with Polly, the alien who ruined our family. But that's a bit too deep, like we don't need to get into that. Pulp, she's not close with Polly, nor does she condone Polly's actions, but... They are related, I think. Okay, well, there's dad. Finally got what he deserved. <laughs> okay. How can a dog have a human relative? No, no, no. Pulp's not really a dog. Pulp is like an immortal, ethereal being. She simply has chosen a dog form as her- her method of appearing to us. Pulp is a dog. Dog backwards is God. Pulp is a God. Um, is what we've decided. Anyway. <laughs> when, again, when I describe it, it's too- it feels like I'm getting too deep, it's too much, but yeah, that's the story. I don't think that anybody in the household knows that, though. Only we know that. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for making me some food. I appreciate it. Um, I think all of the adults in this house can go back to bed because it's too it's too much what we're doing right now. It's been a long day. Um, and I'll see if I can have the toddlers work on any skill building. I'm going to let you come talk to this bear. For rent or growing together? Oh boy. Um, that depends if you're looking for gameplay or if you're looking for build stuff. I think that the rent pack is a game changing build pack. I have had so much fun building with it, but I think the gameplay from growing together is better. Um, so it really depends what you're looking for out of it. They both have fantastic casts, fantastic build mode, like furniture. They have fantastic worlds. Um, it really comes down to the gameplay. I think that like the infant stuff is a little bit easier to fit into your day to day. Um, for rent, um, I haven't been having as many glitches recently. It's actually been improving a lot. I've been playing in a rental for a while with my other Sims in my other legacy challenge on YouTube and we've been having no problems really, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like for rent more so to build than to play. Um, but the growing together gameplay with the milestones and the infant stuff is so cool and will probably be like more easily incorporated into your regular stuff. Um, 
So that would be my suggestion to you, I think, is Growing Together. I also was, uh, I got to do the official builds for Growing Together. Um, so I have like a little soft spot in my heart for that pack. Because <laughs> um, I got to, I got my blue Suburban officially incorporated into the game. Um, there's a, there's a blue Suburban Simsy starter in there that I built that they've included in the, in the world. So, <laughs> um, I, I do have a special soft spot for that pack. Um, but anyway, <laughs> it's a fun one though. That was like the best day of my life when they, when they asked me to do the builds for that pack. You guys gotta imagine, right? This was like a year before it came out. And they so casually drop that there's going to be an infant update. And that they want me to do the builds for it. And I was like, whoa, hold on. <laughs> now, whoa, wait, back up a minute. <laughs> like, imagine the, like, shock that I had to feel. And then I had to keep that to myself for so long. Not a peep to anyone. That was a secret to keep. And then people, I mean, like, uh, I don't want you to think that I was, like, lying about being surprised by infants when they announced it. Because, A, I didn't know they were going to announce it that day. And, B, I hadn't seen them yet. I just knew it was coming. So seeing them was also a very exciting shock. Um, because you hadn't seen it yet. So actually seeing it and seeing how it works was, like, so exciting and cool. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> Smurf became good friends with Alphaba. That's good. I think I'll have Elphaba work from home today. Write a scientific paper. Oh my god. You think I have time for that? I have all these young children. Just ridiculous. Oh no, who's calling now? Is somebody dead? Carp has passed away? I didn't even know who that was. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, Carp! I don't know who that is. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, um, do you two want to come out here and play inside of this so we can get your skills higher? Oops, I, br I broke it by doing that. Oh no, I queued up so many and then I ruined it. Kayla. Okay, try again. There you go. Um, you have not slept for ages, so you should probably do that too. You don't have the day of work today, though. A fox won the lottery in your rags to riches? No, those pop-ups about lottery winners in The Sims 4, it's like flat-out offensive sometimes. When you see who wins and it's like Jeffrey Landgrab, or you see who wins and it's like literally a dog, Come on. In one save I was playing in, I don't remember what save it was. It might have been like my own 100 baby challenge or something, but like years ago, not recently. And I had put my sim self in the save, just like out and about around. I wasn't playing with her. But in that save, my sim self won the lottery and that was kind of funny. It was like, Kayla, I won the lottery and that made me laugh. Um, I liked it. You had a horse win on yours? A horse? <laughs> No, that's ridiculous. And no, Elphaba's parents have not met the grandkids. We could invite Elphaba's parents over today. That could be good. I might make Elphaba design me some more jewelry though first. Then we can invite the family over for a bit. Oh, maybe I should wait until this one's an infant because then we can, there's more to do with it. It won't just be sitting there. Lottery's missing in your game? Um, the lottery is a random holiday that pops up if you have seasons. So do you perhaps not have it installed or just maybe you haven't gotten lucky and had it happen yet? Is everyone excited for the Traders finale? Oh, Hope, what time does the Traders come on? When do they put it on streaming? At nine? Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to watch that and the reunion. It's available to stream at 9. We've been watching this season of Traders, me, Hope, and Dan, and Madison, I guess, but <laughs> Madison's not here. But we've been watching the Traders, and I don't know if I like it or not. It's hard to explain. It's like, it's kind of like Among Us, but it's like in real life, and it's like a fun story, but everyone that I liked has, has gone now. 
So I'm not that impressed with this season because I don't like the people that are left as much. Um, but we'll see what happens with the end of it. I'll, I'll maybe try another season, like a different um, country season, because I'll be curious. I've heard that the like Australian one is better. Oh, I'm Team Sandra too. As a as a massive Survivor fan, I'm Team Sandra for sure. Um, but anyway, also I was really obsessed with Parvati, and then when she was gone, I didn't care anymore. That was half the problem. So it's okay though. <laughs> the The show is called The Traitors. Um, it's it's literally just like Among Us, where there's like two imposters that are the traitors, and the rest of them are faithfuls. They're like crewmates, um, but it's real life, and they're in a house, and they do little challenges, and then each night they have to vote somebody off, and then somebody dies, but gets like kicked off by the traitors. And the goal is to try and figure out who the traitors are. It's literally just like Among Us. If you've seen Among Us, it's the same thing, but it's real life. <laughs> um, so it's kind of fun. Survivor is still being produced. Yeah, it's like season 47 or something. They do two seasons a year. It's wild. Um, shush. Maybe I'll feed this one too. So it stops crying at me. It's 46. It's season 46, not 47. Sorry. I was wrong. Um, I'm watching this season of Survivor? Yeah, me and Dan are watching it. It was on last night. Very exciting stuff. <laughs> Kim, Katie, thank you for the soaps. I think um, last night, oh, Dan's, or sorry, Hope's watching it too, Goose Kingdom. She's also watching Survivor. I think that last night they were doing entirely too much for episode two. I always get really shocked when, what is that? That's bad, I don't like it. I always get really shocked when in the beginning of the show, they're like, we have to get out so-and-so, they're a huge threat at the merge. It's episode two. Like, you need to, you're, that's, you're overthinking this. You're overthinking it. Like, we're, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Relax. You need to, like, be more strategic for the now. Because the problem is that in the beginning, like, if you lose a challenge, then somebody has to go home, right, from your team. And so you need your group, your tribe, to win challenges. But then they're out here being like, so-and-so is a huge threat. So they vote out the only person who's good at doing challenges. Okay, so now your team's gonna win or is gonna lose every single one going forward and you're all gonna get kicked off. Like, I don't really understand what you, anyway. Survivor is fun. <laughs> Survivor is an interesting show to watch. Um, it's easy to watch too. Um, there was also a person last episode who um, I had the most secondhand embarrassment from this. It was so bad. Um, they He basically was complaining about how he quit this challenge they did because he was told they were going to have several hours to complete it. And they only had four. And he's standing there in front of everybody. Like the there's like 20 people there, 18 or something, standing in front of everybody. And he's like, Jeff, last I checked, several means seven. <laughs> and you only gave us four hours. And everybody was like, um, that's not right. But he stood up in front of everybody, so straight faced, like serious about it, complaining. And he was wrong. Several does not mean seven. And then he goes, it's in the word. No, 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 that's not what it means. That's not what it means. And it just made me feel so embarrassed that he did that in front of everybody and then everybody was like, that's not right. I, I can't watch that kind of thing when that happens. <laughs> when that happens, I get so secondhand embarrassed. Like, <laughs> anyway, it was funny, I guess, but <sighs> reality TV is scary sometimes. Okay, how are you kids doing? Level four, that's not bad. I'm gonna send them to bed. We'll probably end up getting off stream here in a minute too. Um, I usually stream till about seven. Speaking of which, <laughs> seven. 
Um, and then we'll get you fed too. Come here, kid. You should probably be hungry, right? Yeah, oh god, you are very hungry. And Moss, do you want to feed the baby? It's always crying. I don't even know what it wants. Oh, dirty diaper. Okay. It's several o'clock. Oh, that's a good point. The clocks, um, good thing to just talk about now in advance. I'll put it in the Discord and stuff so everybody's aware, but um, the US is changing our clocks on Sunday. Um, spring forward, so the, the clocks are changing by an hour this weekend, which is gonna mean that our stream schedule is gonna be off a little bit if your clocks aren't changing yet, or if they don't change at all, it's just gonna be different. Um, so yeah, our clocks are changing. We lose an hour on Sunday. Um, so I'm gonna be live at like the wrong time for some of you if you're outside of the US and your clocks aren't changing. But that's why in the Discord I'll post um, uh, like the schedule with your time zone. So it'll say what time it'll be. That's not until Sunday though. So it won't affect until Monday's stream. Um, but the Discord has it correct in your local time. It's kind of weird because like the UK changes later. Um, I think all of Europe changes later. So you don't change until the end of the month on the 31st. Whoa, that's way longer than normal. Yikes. Um, on Easter? You're losing an hour on Easter? <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um, for some people, I guess. Um, because Easter is the 31st, yeah. The 31st is also the Trans Day of Visibility. Um, so they're taking away an hour on Trans Day of Visibility? UK government. That's not okay. That is not okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Gur and, and Ada, thank you for the subs, both of you. I think that's probably all of Europe on that day, though. I'm not really sure. Anyone who does change. I don't really know what all the country schedules are, but it, basically there's going to be weird time zones for the rest of the month then. Um, but uh, just warning you, I suppose. <laughs> Megan, thank you for the 20 month resub too. Um, the 31st is your youngest first birthday. Oh, that's exciting. Happy birthday to them. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of uh, the daylight savings business. It's very confusing that's and annoying awesome. to deal with, but I am looking forward to the sun setting later. So <laughs> that's gonna be nice. The hour change is gonna make it way better. The sun, like the sun is gonna be up right now. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Oh my God, yes, let me talk about that and then I'll end the stream. Um, my dear friend, Jesse, you guys know Plumbella probably. Um, she has been working on for literally months this, I'm gonna say ridiculous, but I mean it in the best way possible. Ridiculous video called The Sims Iceberg Explained. It's four hours long and she goes so deep into The Sims. It is so interesting. I think you will find this so cool. <laughs> um, I'm gonna link it for you in case you wanna watch it. Um, but you you will just, I think you'll adore this. It's gonna take a while to get through obviously, but um, yeah, ridiculous, affectionate. Oh, ignore this. I clicked on this because I was being judgmental, okay? Shane Dawson's not there because I watch his videos. I was judging. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, me and Dan had this like, he's still doing that? It's the same as it always, anyway. Um, <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just couldn't believe that it was still like, like the thumbnail's the same as it used to be. Like get it together. We need to, we need to like move on, you know? Anyway. Um, <laughs> the unwatched City Planner Plays video. I was busy, Christine. I'll get there. I'll get there. But please, please watch my dear friend Jesse's video. Um, it's really cool. So, um, what did he do wrong? Shane Dawson? Oh, we don't need to get into this right now. A lot of things, though. Um, if you're curious, you can look it up. Um, we don't need to spend time talking about bad people, though. <laughs> Um, what didn't he? <laughs> um, it's maybe a better way of putting it, but... Yeah, me and Jessie have met in person a bunch of times. Um, she's one of my dearest friends, has been for a long time, so... Um, I am a huge fan, but also a very close friend of hers. <laughs> um, both things all at once. Uh, but thank you for hanging out with me today. Happy birthday to Pulp. Um, 
my my dearest and most favorite friend in the entire world. You are just a star. You guys, look at this thing. Come on. Oh, come on. How is that real? But happy birthday to you, Pulp. Um, you make me happy every single day. It's the fact that her eyes are always open when, like, they're still, like, open a little bit because they're too big for her eyelids. So they're still open when she closes them. It's really a lot. But anyway, I'm obsessed with her. So happy birthday to Pulp. <laughs> it is, today is the one year exactly, one year and one day, because it's technically yesterday, but it's been one year exactly since Pulp was founded. And she's just changed my life so much for the better. I think that in all of my years of liking to have my Sims have ugly pets, I've never found something as special as this one. And it's brought me so much joy. And I just want to thank them for this. It was randomized and it was perfect. Um, she's a puggle, but I don't know if she's like really a puggle, you know? The game says she's a puggle, but... I think we're a little bit past that. You know? <laughs> she has, um, the reason she looks like that is because all of her features are like very heavily exaggerated. Like her nose is as tiny as it possibly can be. Her eyes are as big as they possibly can be. So the other puggles like in game don't look like that. She, she's built different. Um, the other ones look a little bit more normal, less alien, I guess. Um, but she's really special and I love her for that. So let me go over and see if we can find someone to raid. Um, I think that we should use the, um, we should use the pulp emote a hundred percent for this. Um, I like the idea of that. Oh, you know what? Um, Kelsey Dangerous is live playing Not So Berry, but doing the blue Not So Berry build. So Kelsey is like just a little bit ahead of us with the Not So Berry challenge. Um, and I'm kind of curious to go see what, what she's up to over there. Um, so I'll go and raid Kelsey um, and we'll, we'll say hello. She's got a cute little inspo photo. It's very blue suburban energy and I really appreciate that. So <laughs> uh, everybody go say hi for me. Tomorrow we're gonna work on building the new house for my YouTube legacy challenge. Um, so if you've seen like the sim with um, maybe Tinker, um, the, the ones that I played university with, those people, uh, my YouTube series, we're gonna make their house tomorrow. Um, so we're, we'll get to work with that probably tomorrow and on Saturday, it's gonna be like a two day affair, I bet. <laughs> Maybe even three days, but hopefully not. <laughs> um, so we'll work on that and I will see you here, same time, this time, tomorrow. Um, have a wonderful rest of your night and I will catch you all later, okay? Bye everybody, bye! Oops, right now and stop the stream. Pulp is so scary.